Oh shit! Mic check, mic check. One two one two. Uh, before I get started, guys, um, my internet for some reason is wilding. So you might see me, you know, freeze up and all that. You know what I mean? But uh, but Black Scale and Nova got you. You know what I'm saying? So that <laughs> mm-hmm. show must go on. <laughs> Um, this is what is this? The 34th? No, 33. 33. Oh, mm-hmm. Scotty Pippen. Okay. Uh, this is the 33rd episode of the Longhouse Gaming Podcast. Um, first off, I just want to thank all of the 23 people that are in the chat right now, uh, watching us live and direct. We got Flush Jackson, Silk Slayer, Razor Ramon, Stone Blade, Nerds and Other Legends, Stanley Francois, Zach Riley, E ranks 30 below. The one and only Lotus is Spree. Live Supremacy, it's Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, was I already said Zach Riley? I think I did. Shout out to you again. We got Sergi. Sergi24 is up in the building. Ponty050 up in the house. And Shutter Speed Gang was the first one in here. He said, first. First. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember that? It used to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> first couldn't couldn't wait to comment on them videos Bruh, as soon as they went live boys <laughs> yep uploaded live and direct Hilarious. um yeah i just want to say uh you know it's today has been a good day you know what i'm saying Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Talk to him. <laughs> Today, man. Okay. I'm. Uh, <laughs> 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 we chilling today. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Drinking wine. We, uh, fine. Is that is that what that is? That's right. Mm-hmm. Got me a nice little cab going over here. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Um. We we gonna get we gonna get cracking today, man. We got some good topics. There's been a lot of stuff happening in the news today. Twitter was going crazy. Um, we also got a Q and A, man. So while we discuss topics, you guys feel free ask questions, do what you do. Because sometimes we can't get to the chat, so it's best to go ahead and just throw the questions up in there. Because the chat be moving too fast sometimes. And uh, yeah, super chats have priority, of course. And speaking of supers, speaking of for the kids, y'all know what time it is. We got Lotus Esprit with the super mm. sticker, a ten dollar super sticker. Lotus, thank you. That's the homie right there. Thank you very much. Yeah, love it. It's for the kids, baby. It's for the kids. You know. We getting up there. John Wolf, I see you, baby. Uh he said we slandering your PC bill in the DM, bro. What why my PC bill? What's wrong with my PC bill? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck y'all talking? Hold on, bro. Y'all not gonna slander me while I'm live right now. I'm not doing that. Uh-uh. Oh, dang. No, I'm a, they said right, suspect. Oh, they okay. All right, <laughs> no, guys. they ain't saying that. they they slandering my team red shit. They can oh. kiss my ass, bro. It's AMD all the all all day. Hey, I'm on the <laughs> way, bro. I'm about to be on the team, so look out for me. Mm-hmm. It's all right. I'll come back to y'all when I'm done with this live, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get this one from the party started, man. Um, you know, Supernova had such a good beat last week i was like dog i gotta get on it mm-hmm. i got i got <laughs> no diddy you, you know what i'm saying i gotta get on it <laughs> yo <laughs> speaking of crazy day bro but i'm yeah, not crazy go i about to say his boy got raided that is crazy <laughs> No, right, cr- looking crazy right now. I stole all his shares to revolt. Can't find them. Where are yet? <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Did he do it? Did he do it? <laughs> I-D-A. 
It's all alleged. It's all allegedly. It's all alleged. <laughs> yeah. I hope that black man is, you know, be all right. But if, if he did it, he did it. That's yeah, real, bro. It's, yeah, it's crazy, Dang. bro. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. Got on time to do Jay came to me, he said, uh, you know what, I got a nice little topic. Scale. What's up you got, brother? But it out! Nobody want to talk about that? Dragon is dogma. You can't just step in anything. <laughs> Now listen, my mic's not cooked, bro. Can you hear me now? I understand? Maybe I just got to talk a little softer to you little, little bitty boys, okay? <laughs> now, what I'm talking about is L666. Is it for the streets or not? Black Scale said, we got to talk about that dragon's document. Is it he or is it not? As for me, we're going to talk about that expert handheld. My mic is not clipping no more. I'm talking nice and soft. New Diddy Nation, let's go. That's right, John Wolf. Y'all, somebody send me a new mic. I'll put the P.O. box in the, <laughs> in the description. <laughs> oh, my God. Your mic was cooked. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> I was, ho I was hoping through my headset that it was not sounding like that to the people. <sighs> yeah. It's all good, man. It was pretty good. It was clipping. that's crazy, man. It was, it was pretty. The beat was fine. I, I, I ain't changed no. <laughs> I ain't changed no settings. No nothing. Anyway, mm -hmm. motherfuckers, if y'all didn't hear me, I said we're gonna talk about Elder Scrolls Six. We're gonna talk about Dragon's Dogma and the Xbox handheld. Y'all keep talking about my mic unless y'all come and help me. Okay, Solid White said, "What's your PO? <laughs> What's your PO box?" Okay, <laughs> he said that mic is well done, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, I was I was trying to read lips. No oh, diddy. Oh man. No bro. diddy. What I do? I shit is cooked. Lotus is free with the five. He's trying to help me get a new mic. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I appreciate it, brother. <laughs> Damn, the beat was too far, too. I don't... I'm going to have to do some adjusting next time. My father, I'm having all kinds of issues. Internet issues, clipping issues. Ooh. At least I'm not on the run from the feds, though. Uh, you know, count your blessings. That is, you it could me? be worse. <laughs> Definitely be worse. People could be tracking your private jet to the, you know, to the Caribbean. Right. You know boy, boy went to the Caymans. <laughs> oh my God, bro. All right. So let's go ahead and get this, get this shit started. Nova. Yes, sir. What's been piquing your interest lately? You know what I'm saying? What you've been playing, watching, whatever, reading, you know? Mm -hmm. All that, all that. So uh, what I've been watching, I watched... I went to go start season two of Halo, but I was like, uh, I want to try something different. You know what I'm saying? So I went back and I was like, I wonder if I'm done with Foundation. And come to find out, I'm still in season two of Foundation, man. Chad, I am doing terrible when it comes to watching shows. So I watched a couple episodes of season two in Foundation. I'm halfway through that one. So checking that out. 
Uh, played a little bit of Halo Infinite um, with Black Scale the other day. You know what I mean? So played a little bit of that. Um, also played a couple games of Overwatch 2, man. I ain't, I ain't going to hold you. Some homies was playing, so I hopped in and played a couple games with them uh, for that. man. But, but that's all that's going on with me, man. I wonder what chat's watching. What y'all watching too, chat? Um, while chat starts putting their stuff in Black Scale, now I'm over here talking soft because I don't want my mic to flip out. <laughs> Dark hour with Black Viking head ass. <laughs> he said your mic is well done, bro. I would be laughing to that shit all night, bro. Well, good. That is a good one. That That's shit. a good one. That shit. My God. Oh, man. Anyway, Scale, what you been playing and watching, bro? Uh, as far as playing, I've been playing that dogma. <laughs> That's not even about dogs. It's not even the. It's not even. The <laughs> it's not. You'll get your ass bit up by some dogs though. But uh, that been playing that been playing some Valorant. New character just dropped, so uh, that been playing uh, catching up on that. And uh, Halo. If you want to catch uh, me and Nova running night, catch my stream. We're on there catching dubs. I think. Right. Yeah, we call it dubs. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as far as watching, man, I started the uh, cause. Last we were talking about the uh, three body problem. I started that actually. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Fucking Man, uh, heat. That's, One I, person in the chat said it's born. It's it's not good. They had to stop watching it. Uh, I fell asleep. I'm not even. Gonna what? Fight. It's not because it was boring. I was tired. So I'm not saying it was boring. I just didn't get to get through it because <laughs> I was tired. It wasn't because of boredom. I promise. But that's what I started watching. I'm like halfway through the first episode i'm actually digging what i'm seeing so far i'm not gonna lie i like what i'm seeing so far for sure for sure i like what i'm seeing so far i've watched three episodes of that and that shit's fucking fire i see it got like a 7.8 on imdb it's highly it's the ratings high like i'm i'm what i'm seeing so far i'm i'm actually liking so i will be probably done with that in a few days at least caught up (laughs) <laughs> but uh sure. that and uh finished up halo man shout out to a good season ending i'm not gonna spoil nothing that ending was heat gas heat. bro heat. it was fire <laughs> <laughs> fire people fire. be on twitter trying to shit on taylor I, bro i don't get it the, the ending got me right where i wanted to be i was like okay yep now gear me up for three because now it's so i'm not gonna spoil nothing but yeah that that's the ending i wanted at least to start a season three it's fucking on now i like it <laughs> yeah but yeah that's, that's what i've been uh playing and watching that's cool man um <clears throat> yeah watching three body problem um and then i started signals the german oh yeah show right mm-hmm. like so i've been watching that that shit's heat uh is it in german so you're watching yeah. it subtitled or yeah. do you have the voiceover shit on? I do not. I can't. I, 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 can't, I can't do it. Dude, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. Them voice acting shits be horrible, bro. I started Squid yeah. Game like that. I was like, oh, no, sir. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Oh. So they be having the same problems that animes be having. Yeah. Huh? It's, so a, it's the exact same problem. It's just like you don't wow. feel the emotion. And they, they record it like early and separate from like even seeing the shit, I believe. They don't watch mm. it and record it. They just record it. If y'all didn't know. That's kind of how that voice actor stuff goes, but yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy. And they just kind of line the audio up with the video and later, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I'm fix it in post, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's nuts. But yeah, I've been playing Dogma too, bro. Um, we talked a little bit this Sunday about Dogma. I'm sure we're going to talk about it here too. Um, but so I'll, I will save my comments for when we talk about it. Um. But yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Mm. Lotus Esprit. Esprit. For the kids. He said, I'm going to drop 50 on them. They mm. said they're going to drop 50 on them. Drop 50 on them. Lotus, thank you. Huge. The, the thank kids, you. listen, the kids going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. I was, you know what? I was trying to find your Twitter handle a while ago to contact you um, to say thank you, but couldn't find it, man. So uh, if you, um, yeah, yeah, let me know if how I can contact you, man. And listen, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For real. So that means I got to do some horn. If people came for horn hub. <laughs> thank you, Lotus, for sure. Oh, really man. appreciate that. This whole thing. Let's see. For the kids, for the kids, yeah. I've never come prepared. Well, I always <laughs> should be. Hold on now. It's just called. Y'all talk body. about something else while I find this. Uh, uh Flush Jackson. I'm seeing it right here. Three body problem. Three with the number three. Mm hmm. At least I did what... put it on the Netflix, uh, on my Netflix queue. So I'm going to check it out, though. Like, I so. See. But you only watched like for half of the first episode. And you said it's pretty strong, though. So what far, huh? you just felt sick. You tired? Mm hmm. So far, yeah. I'm actually like, it's, it's, I, you, are we all like science, space, smart shit. Yeah. So there you go. It's good. It starts off strong and smart. <laughs> okay. And that's, that's the stuff I'm into. Like, yeah. So, so far, yeah. See, oh, the, the Chinese version. I remember they said there is another version, or the, I guess that's the original version. So, is the original version called Three Body? And then, so they made this one Three Body Problem. Is that how it worked? The book is from a Chinese author. I bet the book is gas. Books are always, sorry, they just be better. Mm hmm. I'd probably love to check out the books that they uh, based the uh, foundation off of, too, because that show is gas. Like, mm -hmm. I know the book's got to be heat. Yeah, especially just to read it all in one, like, run through, if possible. It's like you get to see the whole story in a collective type mm -hmm. of thing. Are y'all ready? Yes, sir. My mm -hmm. fault. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, man, pulled up with the lungs today. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the wine got me a little loose. You feel me? No, did it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this about to be a Diddy episode? <laughs> right. I think so. That's what it's sounding like. Hey, take that, take that, take oh, that. Oh take my that. good. Thank you, Lotus. Thank you, Lotus. Um, cool, man. Uh, Mike just needs to turn. To he said it was too. <laughs> mm. Goat status. You can't say that. Come on, man. No Diddy for real. Woo. <laughs> Dang goat. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. All right, man. So let's go ahead and get into the topics, man. Um, <clears throat> a scale. Go ahead, man. What's up, y'all? So, it's out. We've all been waiting on it. The dogma. The dragon's dogma, too. It's out. But, should you use your hard-earned money on the game that just came out? We'll talk about it, because it's sounding like a mixed bit and a lot of no's. So, <clears throat> there's been a lot of controversy surrounding dragon's dogma. The game went live on the 22nd, and a lot of people are upset about it. The Steam, <laughs> Steam had it at launch as mostly negative. I personally have not, in my time of gaming, have not seen like a big game like this go straight to mostly negative <clears throat> and still be bought and played. So that was pretty astounding to me just off the rip. And it's actually at 40,000 mixed reviews now. So to start out with, it started out with 3,000 mostly negative. Then it went to 40,000 mix. So it's kind of strange. That was like in what, four days? When that's a crazy, you, do, you see the number? I'm just thinking about that right now. Like, damn, that's numbers. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's a lot of people. It's, it is crazy. But <clears throat> some issues people are having are performance, the use of microtransactions, the price of the game itself, the game itself, because some people don't aren't having the fun with the pawn system apparently and streamers and reviews not talking about microtransactions so i think i'll just start there on the initial of what i'm talking about and i'll start with you nova what is your initial thoughts on the dragon's dogma 2 release man to be honest man it's a little bit unfortunate that it's running a little rough man and but it's seeming like that's kind of the norm these days with, with games coming out and being very, very, very CPU heavy. So it's running really rough. So, but it looks amazing. The game looks amazing when it's running really, really well. Uh, the graphics look nice. Uh, the foliage is not really too active though when it comes to the wind. Cause I know we talked about that in regards to Final Fantasy, how it's pretty stiff, right? Mm -hmm. 
But uh, no, it, it looks good. Uh, from what I hear, when you're not in the city, it plays good as well. But it seems like it's struggling just to kind of do uh, uh, the basics, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is pretty crazy. What do you think, Viking? Initial. Uh, yeah, so initial <laughs> thoughts. Like, whenever I first booted it up, because uh, I saw all the performance from, like, PC, I didn't want to take a chance. on. Even though I got a good rig, I was like, the performance that I saw on the Series X looked fine. So I went on ahead and started playing it there. Um, and at first you can kind of notice it, right? But then the game is just so fucking fun to where like you don't even notice it anymore unless you're in the city. Mm-hmm. But even then, it's like it's still okay. I'm in the city, so I'm not like fighting nothing or anything. So it doesn't take away from my experience, I guess. Um, because it's not like life or death in the city, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but Bruh, this game is too much goddamn fun. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, bro. So, like, whenever I see, like, it's really hard to take whenever, especially when it comes to performance, like, for new games, like, to take Steam reviews seriously because they're, like, there's people complaining about the DRM or the Denovo, I think it's called, uh, or whatever. Denuvo. Mm-hmm. Denuvo, uh, which I don't give a shit about, right? There's people that complain about their perf- their personal performance or whatever, but uh, everybody should have known what this game was going to run like, like coming out, right? Um, that is going to be very CPU intensive or whatever. Like, did they optimize it poorly? Probably. You know what I mean? Like in some areas, but that's why I bought it on the Series X. You know what I mean? Because (laughs) I wasn't taking no chances on the PC. Mm -hmm. Um, And what else were people complaining about? The microtransactions. Like, blood, I've been playing and playing and playing. Mm -hmm. And, dog, you just mad because they there. Like, because, like, (laughs) because you don't need them. (laughs) Yeah, I was really said that you don't need them. Yeah, you just play the game. Dude, I'm level 25 and I haven't needed any of that. It's like, no, I wouldn't have even known it was there if, I, if it wasn't for people talking about it, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I, like, literally, if I would have booted up the game, whether I was on PC or no matter where I was at, and I just started playing the game, I would never know that there's microtransactions in the game. They don't try to flash a screen in front of your eyes. It's not at the start screen. It's nowhere. No. I don't even, I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. <laughs> and I don't want to know. That's what I'm saying. It's really good. Like they didn't, that shit is not in my face. Otherwise I would have talked about it or been mad about it. Cause I don't now don't, I don't want microtransactions in a single player game unless it's for skins type of stuff. But it, right. it, they're no it's no it's crazy <laughs> I yeah because so, i know both of y'all played it like did y'all experience because a lot of people were complaining about the crashing issues you guys did you experience any crashing of the game at all yeah on the xbox yep i got you did Scott? Crashes, for sure okay mm-hmm. yep, right. yep, yep. now now my experience is different because i have a different mindset going into this game i for my rig playing on pc i was trying to have comparative experience to a console so that was my goal. I wasn't shooting even for 60 frames. You know what I mean? So these guys with their rigs are expecting 60, bro. Only the 40, 90s and I, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 13 gens are playing them shits. You know what I'm saying? Only the yeah. highest, highest rigs are, and mm-hmm. they're get, only getting like 80. <laughs> 80 <laughs> you know I mean? 83, 86 mm-hmm. frames. Yeah. So when you see the highest of highest of highest rigs running it at like that performance, you know we're not running 60. (laughs) Nobody in the mid-range is running 60. So for me, going into it was a little different. Um, And not only that, when I'm outside of the city, I'm getting like 45 to 50 frames. Like it's because I have DLSS and all that stuff. Because I have like a newer graphics card, so I get some of that stuff. And it helps the outside of the city for sure. Um, So that part has been – and luckily when you're outside of the – most of the game is outside of the city. So it's – I don't – the performance part, yeah, it, I, yeah, it's pretty bad in the city. I'm not going to, for me at least, because my my drops to like 28 frames, 25 frames. It's rough in yeah. there. But luckily, 
I'm trying to be in and out. Trying to, you, yeah. know, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't yeah. even be chilling in the city. Like, no, you can chill. There's stuff to do. There's actually a lot of missions there, too. Like, you, you do have to spend time there. So you will encounter that. And luckily, in certain parts of the city, like, say you go inside of a castle or something, you're, you'll get better frames once you, once you get away from NPCs. And if y'all really wanted to, you could kill the NPCs. I know that's out there. It's out there. You can kill them. I was going to ask you if you did. <laughs> I, I'm not doing that because I'm here for the full experience. <clears throat> but and yeah. NPCs are part of that. You want? I want that. And not only that, this game is going to be a benchmark for me because I'm upgrading my PC now. So whenever I upgrade, I'll know how much better it runs and I'll know where the standard is. And my standard to be good for a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. Like especially for anybody running on console. Like and not only that, people running on console. I'm going to be pretty good, especially if, they, if they're okay with the 30 frames. That mm -hmm. game's going to be great. Like, it, it is great. It's mm -hmm. as soon as you got that city and getting in the fighting stuff. Oh, the combat is so crispy. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't bought it yet because I know it's going to choke my computer, man. Oh, I yeah. was watching that Gamers Nexus uh, video on YouTube, and they were saying that. Uh, like it, when you're inside of the city and whatnot, it's like very CPU bound. The game is it is so, and it's not necessarily using all of the cores that it could potentially use, and it doesn't really switch over to mostly GPU until you leave. That's why you're experiencing such a good gameplay outside of the city hub. So there is definitely some type of uh, you know uh, efficiency that they can do to try to kind of balance that out, so you can get some decent gameplay in both city and outside in the terrain. Right. I think the city is just exclusive yeah. for people with nice rigs, so that's okay. And the thing is, like, <laughs> and that's hey, it's the truth. It's yeah. how it is. They're gonna have a better time in the city. We're gonna have similar experiences outside. You're we're gonna have better outside as well. But my experience outside is gonna be great. I'm telling you, the gameplay, the the gameplay, and this also brings up a, another thing with the microtransactions. A lot of the microtransactions are for quality not even quality of life it's kind of just to bypass the game and so basically people are upset because there's microtransactions for pretty much uh it was to start a new character i believe they addressed that and they're going to change that up so they 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 uh they responded to that but a lot of it was for fast travel now look i love my fast travel but we have to think about it this way i think this game is intended to be played for, like you're supposed to walk a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. like your day your walk is supposed is a part of the game and so if you're fast traveling to me it's it seems like they are saying you're missing out on our game you're missing out on our experience so we're going to charge you to miss out on the experience it's yeah person that's kind of how because I, I will say like, like even when the cart was offered at the very beginning i didn't take it me i said i want to walk and yeah. like, boy, did I find some stuff. Boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I get wrecked. I like yeah. it. Get wrecked out. I thought everything was sweet. I was like, nah, man, I'm, good. I'm not going to take it. I'm not yeah. going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to walk to Mel because I'm not there. <laughs> bro, I started walking. Bro, I ain't, I've died to a lot of random things. Like, I ain't got like, yeah. harpies. And then I, the thing is, this game has a, it feels like they're scripted moments, but I'm pretty sure they're random. Like, yeah. it, it's, hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I haven't looked at a lot Say of more. gameplay. Because like there's, should I, I don't know if I want to say a moment, but no spoilers. It, but yeah, yeah, it's just like there's so many like moments that feel scripted. Like you're just walking, and just, boy, some shit will happen. And it's like yeah. I don't want to spoil anything because the moments are great. It's a part of it. But if I, I just think myself, if I wasn't walking, I would have never experienced that. It's like they had this. It seems like they have it all set up for you when you walk a certain way. That you know a moment will happen for you, and it's like. It's quick. Like there's a lot of stuff in between, like the walking. You will see a lot of stuff. You will get into a mm -hmm. lot of fights. Like you're leveling up, you're ranking up, you're finding gear. There's caves. Like there's a, there's a lot to explore. So the yeah. it's it's just Goblins, the fast traveling. Go, bro, the bro. I'm gonna the this trolls, may be a spoiler. The bro. first time I picked up one of those goblins and threw them. <laughs> so yeah, I saw somebody else do that too. Bro, that and that and okay. Sorry to keep going on, but that kind of comes to the performance of the game for me because this game does a lot of shit, bro. Like the yeah. way you get, bro, you get like slightly wet. Like I'm wearing a cape. I got it slightly wet and it only got wet in the level that I went in. You know what I mean? It was like, it's like wow. that. When it's raining, you can see the the part, the go beautiful glisten, like water off your skin, off the capes, off the clothes, off the people. The people, your pawns are reacting to it, talking about the weather. Like I've seen fireflies. I've seen 
crickets jumping out, ran just in the yeah, in the breath of all that. They have little. Go- I almost I see. I'm, I'm trying not to spoil. <laughs> <laughs> but that's go, how, go off. That, that's, just, that's just how much fun I'm like. I haven't felt this way about a game. I don't think it's Skyrim. Like the way yeah. Skyrim mm-hmm. hit you with that. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. What? Uh, that was crazy. Whoa, this story is crazy. I'm a now I made this is a little spoiler. I just did a mission where this guy's cheating on his spouse and I sold him <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Adultra. I sold him. Yeah. But I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but it, it was actually it worked out for both of them. It was crazy. It's a good moment and stuff like that. Skyrim used to hit you with hella moments like that. You know what I mean? Bruh. This one is giving me the same. The interactions that you have with your pawns when you're when the pawns tell you about their other master sometimes, bro. Yeah, it's me... so good, bro. And then whenever you complete a mission, bro, <laughs> them niggas is dapping up, bro. <laughs> bro. Every time, bro, get the, high. the high five happy. I was just, I was just walking there, was like, there we go, master. <laughs> I was like, they added something like that. So it was, it's so casual and so clean. That's why the performance is crazy. Like, that's why it's hitting so hard because they're doing so much. Like, yes, that you don't bro. see, there's so much going on in the background. Like, I don't give a, I don't give a shit about the performance. And then you can do like, so it has like this BG3 element to it to where like you can do, you can interact with the world however you want to. Right, like mm-hmm. all of our interactions with the world is going to be different. Um, like one time, I <laughs> I lured this because I died to him twice on this bridge, and I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna lure him on the bridge and just cut that bridge off, bro. Mm. I, I had a similar mm. like that's what's crazy. I had a similar experience, not the yeah. same though. It was see so tight. See? It's yeah. a good game right there. And then, like, the, the trolls, right? So I have a fighter with me, like, a level 18. This is, like, my last fight that I did. And then, like, I picked her up and threw her on the troll close to the neck or whatever. She grabbed on and started stabbing, bro. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Bro, there are Shadow of Colossus moments games. in this game. <laughs> yeah, That's bro, what bro. got me. You, There are Shadow of Colossus moments in this game. Bro, I'm telling you, I know exactly what he's talking about, bro. They go, ah, ah, <laughs> and they start going, but, and you have, like, there's weak spots, so you kind of have to do that. Mm. Like, there's a, there's, oh, man, man. You be holding dragons, on for dear man. life sometime, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, I run out of stamina all the time, and then you get fucking waxed. And that's the thing. The stamina keeps this game so leveled, bro. Yeah, you it run, does. I run out of stamina. So I'm doing everything in my heart to raise stamina if I can find it. I can't get I don't know you how You a fighter, too? I, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. all right. Yeah, so, you know, we using stamina like crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh-huh. it is, ah, man, it's, 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 it's good, man. It's good. Yeah, like yeah, the interactions with the with the pawn system, I think I'm the most uh, fascinated with because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I've never played Dragon Dogma one, right? I um, so I don't know what the pawn system was like on that. And then when you find the portals and you can swap out pawns for other people's bro. pawns, bro, mm-hmm. like. And not only that, the people there's this pawns walking on the roads. Yes, bro. Yep. They just I wanted to come up to me. And I will find the best treasure. And they, they give you all the stats. I'm like, oh, you trying to be part of the squad? Because pawns are, it's a way of life on this game. Like people, yeah. some people don't like pawns. They don't like the whole, it's a whole like political thing with it. Like, so it's, it's ah, I'm, that game is good, man. Yeah, I'm hopping <laughs> on right after this live, bro. It just makes me want to play. Like, it just makes, like, the need to explore is like, so, so good. I, I almost want to. I kind of have to spoil this. This is a moment that got me. All right, this is, and it may be a spoil for you, but it's not too bad. Ah, is it too? Don't bad? do it. Don't do it. Cause you gonna right. make me. I gotta buy the game too. All right, if it's, all if right, it's a big right. one, yeah. It's, but it's not. But it is. It's not. It's not a spoil. It's just a. It's a thing they do to make you like. I. All right, I gotta say it. Y'all ready? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go, go off. <laughs> All right, so this, I was just exploring around. No quest, no nothing. I, re- I did my quest, so I had nowhere to go. So I was just exploring around for a long time. I got lost, low-key, because, you know, there's no fast travel like that. So you're just out there. So I was just walking, just walking, came across. Bro, I came across this whole little village, beautiful village, and there's elves there, and you can't understand the language. Yep. You yep. seen it? 
Mm-hmm. Bro, yep. you can't understand that. I was walking around town trying to do normal shit. Couldn't do, can't understand them. So now there's a whole village over here that you can't understand. And you I didn't get, get to a, do shit. You, gotta, you have to get an elven pawn, bro. And it's crazy. And I haven't seen one. And then that's the thing. Like, that's a, that's <laughs> that's a whole thing I can't interact with. And you can interact, but you can't. You can't read it. You can't understand them. You can't read it. And just little. And I found that on the on just random. And that just makes me want to know what else is out there. I've, I I can't even consider myself to have done a lot of boss fights because even like the big things that you're fighting, they don't, they're tough for sure. But it don't it ain't even like a boss. So even the mint man, stop. I'm sorry. I'm going on. <laughs> no, you good, bro. <laughs> no, nah, it sounds like a fire shit. game. It, I'm gonna have to buy it later though because uh I don't my game my, my computer's you know struggling so I think I might catch it on sale like a couple other people that's here in chat. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely unfortunately I these games get me with my intrigue and I and that's what sucks. It's like man, I'll deal with it. <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm gonna deal with it unless it's literally unplayable and it's just like curving my data and it's messing my saves up. Let me just freeze. Am I frozen? No, you're good. Nah. I think I'm I frozen on my screen. Uh oh. But uh yeah, I guess if I'm not frozen, but it's a it's a good game, y'all. Performance mm-hmm. aside, if you can deal with the 30 frames on consoles, I think I'm losing. You are frozen, but I can hear you clearly. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why I'm frozen. But yeah, if you're if you can deal with the, if you have a console, you can deal with the frames of 30, you should grab this, I think. Because I think it runs fine for console players. Mm-hmm. And Viking, actually, I want to ask you straight up, man. Like, since you said that you didn't you didn't care about De Nuvo, I want to ask you, uh, because it's a uh anti-tamper, you know, DRM system, you know. So sometimes those systems can kind of get in the way of us like playing the games when we're not connected online and things of that nature. So yeah. So you you really don't care about that DRM or like this specific one or just DRM in general? No, I've never it's never crossed my mind. <clears throat> um to i guess i've never played a game offline i guess i i've I've usually always had like some sort of hot spot or something if i'm playing a game so like yeah i've never like what trying to think of an instance to where yeah i guess i've never i guess i've never i guess i've never had the issue with it or, or like a complaint about it yeah like it's never really crossed my mind like ever mm-hmm. I, I mean I, I i guess i feel like i guess some people want to play offline i guess i mean that's cool you know what i mean but like i've never cared about it i guess one way or the other yeah yeah um yeah, i'm trying to think of like my computer's always online i mm-hmm. guess like for the small percentage there's a internet outage i would like to play my games but like yeah i mean i got kids i got kids and stuff to go play with too so like i can find (laughs) other things to do you know what i mean (laughs) so So is that what it's for is to play offline well it's to make sure that people aren't doing things that they're not supposed to be doing with and in the game you know what i mean so Uh it's it's pretty much anti-tap tamper and uh and drm digital rights management to make sure you're not downloading it you know when you boot the game Uh up it checks to see if this is a pirated version and so on and so forth Uh but i see people in chat talking about resident evil had bad performance and stutter on pc due to due to denuvo you know what's crazy i did i didn't have bad performance you talking about resident evil village is that what he said yeah i have have a weaker computer and i didn't i had a it didn't mess mine up that much, honestly. You played it on drop? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love that game too. I, that was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed. I like Resident Evil Horror, so that one was yeah, good yeah. for sure. Definitely, definitely. Let, hey, me, let me go get, ahead and get this super chat really quick, if you yep. don't mind. Yep. Um, I see this was starred. Hold on. <laughs> Wilfred Rosario said, YouTube sucks. <laughs> it didn't notify yeah. me you guys were live. Well, you here now, baby? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We here. Good. It's all good. And also, if you good. don't have it already, man, if you don't have it already, go ahead and click that uh, notification bell so you won't miss us next time because YouTube does like to do that every now and then. It don't like to send out the noties, you know, to get y'all that, in here. So appreciate that ding. it. Mm-hmm. And then Mr. Positive himself hit us with five. Yes, sir. You came in twice. 
Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, it was a five longhouse game <laughs> memberships, bro. I'm all mm-hmm. right. Let me see. Well, Maybe hold on. I started. did this one because specifically because y'all had that bet, and I said I was gonna donate twenty dollars regardless of whoever won. So this is what that is. Oh, okay. Did we say did, first week numbers? We or said day I, think, one? I think we said first week. Okay. Oh, yeah. thank God. That might help. I, I might. I don't. I think for sure I lost. Like, so I might be all right. Nah, boy. Whoa, whoa. Got like three days. It's a wrap for you. <laughs> but we're just talking about PS5 only. Yeah, PS5 only. Yeah. Man. Listen, guys, if y'all don't know, me and Scale got a bet about uh, if Dragon's Dogma would outperform Rise of the Ronin in sales. I, I picked Dogma. Scale picked Ronin. Uh,. We going to see, I guess, in three days. I'm hoping the controversy <laughs> helped me. I was like, it might help me. Because people are on the fence. They're like, nah, because bro, bro is running at 60. <laughs> you saw that horse. You saw that horse footage, boy. <laughs> that, was, that was the most bow legged horse I've ever seen in my life. I did not you like see that, that horse. That stop animation, <laughs> uh, little, um, the wind chime, too, that was right yeah. next to it. Had like three frames, three different yeah. animations. Yeah. It's looking crazy. Bro, it's, people uh, really out there capping for it, too. Like, like the Sony boys should be. That, that's I hope they do, and I hope they are. <laughs> Support your game, your console. Shit. Goat status said scales is cooked as, micro, as Vikings microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it really sucks because I bought Dogma. So I'm yeah. not on PS5, but it's like, I ain't even support my own thing. <laughs> that's how people, that, hey, bro, that's the gaming community right there. Just, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. No here, we, here we go. Hold on. Yeah. Mm, at the end, that sounds crazy, but it's all right. At it's picking first. up. Mm-hmm. I'm sounding good today. <laughs> So yep. thank you, thank you for the five gifted memberships, uh, Supernova, yes, for the kids. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Then we got Black Ronin hey. with the ten bomb. He said, "I'm playing on the Series X and LG CX 65 inch. Run so smooth because VRR is killing any dips. Fun right. game. The microtransactions are a non-issue. It's just bulls wanting to bish about something. <laughs> Longhouse crew, thumbs up. I'm cool." I like that. Yeah. I pick that pick up pick check. Is that for Friday? <laughs> that looks like Friday. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Pickle yeah. always been black. He's been though. black. That's why I'll be trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know who those memberships went out to? Uh, no. Uh, it was way earlier in chat. I can go ahead and grab uh, them real quick if you want to. Nah, I got it. I got it. I All right. Scroll up. And then I got a two dollar right here. Goat Gaming says. Viking, Tim is coming at you. Comments off. Listen, uh, while the fellows was talking, I went to Tim Dog's uh, ex. Oh, yeah. Is he coming at me? Probably not. You know, I said something about it. I said, like, I'm all for Tim having his opinions. But when my man said he didn't get a heads up from Xbox about the direction, my man lost the plot. <laughs> so then he, he comes back at me, says, bro, came onto the scene in 2021. Actually. And I comment to this. My Twitter account was created in 2021. I did not start commenting on anything gaming related till last year. So <laughs> just a small correction there, Tim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like what? Like, okay. Yeah. Like, I s- okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pay attention to Turncoat Tim. All right. Damn. All right, anyway, uh, let's Ready go. Uh, uh-huh. Let me go ahead and read those five real quick. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So we got Sauron Grant, uh, Joaquin uh, Branch, Ozzy Fan 80, Andy B. Drumming. I like that name, Andy B. Drumming. Uh-huh. That's a dope, that's that a dope name. Elijah Vasquez, man. Thank you. So all y'all, man, go ahead and uh, throw up the set in the chat. Hey, yo, y'all. Can, if you got gang, gang, throw up the set. For all the new greenies out here, you feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My computer is tweaking. I'm catching whatever you got going on over there. 
Today is technical difficulties day. Bro, yeah. it is, man. I can't even it see is. YouTube. Let me throw up the set too, cuz. I can't. I can't throw up the set. <laughs> Whatever bug you got, I got. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Legendary Yobi said, I don't know why Tim expected to get a heads up. You are not in those boardrooms. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, come on, man. Like, I, res- I respect him and his opinion, bro. But when he said that, I was like, okay, dog. Yeah. Like, they not your friends like that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a heads up. All right. Anyway, um, God, there was, I think there was, oh, we got a question, guys. From the legendary Yobi. I can't pull it off because stream I can't pull it up because uh stream yard's weird. But he says, peace, love, life to the black black kings. Let's go. Question mm. for you, gents. How is your mental health? Good question. Mm. You go ahead, Scale. You you start <clears throat> start start the album off. Um, my mental health is I'd like to say it's well. Um, it could be better. I'm trying to do more to be progressive in my life. I have an issue with not thinking I'm doing enough. So I'm always on that in my head about it and just trying to be appreciative of everything that's come my way. So it's uh, that's where my mental health is kind of It's good, though. Thank you for asking that. Seriously. Mm-hmm. What about you, know? Me, man, um, it's pretty good, man. I'm kind of going through a little bit of something right now, but... You know, we got to we got to keep positive. We got to, you know, keep your head to the sun. Also, man, if you need therapy, people out there, don't be afraid to go to therapy. I myself. Yes. Been in therapy about three years now, man. So if you need to talk to somebody, bro, go talk to somebody. Get you a neutral party in there. Get it off your chest. To my black men, go to therapy. It's okay. Please go to therapy, bro. Because Mm -hmm. you never really know. You never really know some stuff is wrong. Because, like, if this is all you ever known, you know what I mean? Like, you'd be like, oh, dang, like, that's you ain't supposed to be doing stuff like that for real? Mm -hmm. Or I'm not supposed to be doing that? Yeah, go talk to somebody, people. So how's your your mental health, Black Viking? Uh, So I have a, what do I call it? I have a foundational bar of where my mental health is versus where it should be right Mm -hmm. so like my floor like imagine if like a normal person's mental health right is like right here mine's will constantly be right here but that's my floor and i'm okay with that right so it will fluctuate (laughs) between here but i'm okay with being down here i'm trying to catch your visuals when you're talking and now is your is your mental health a little bit lower than the than the norm I believe I believe because I have PTSD and then anxiety issues and stuff like mm-hmm. that from doing mortuary affairs in in the military, I guess. Um, like I was medically retired, diagnosed with PTSD, depression, anxiety, all that. So again, I did years of therapy, right? Uh I was actually in the uh <laughs> In the nut house for a little bit, you know, but it's okay. Glad you can talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, crazy times, mm-hmm. crazy times. No man. pun intended. But hey, uh, all puns intended, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, no one's sick. Crazy <laughs> time. I, I know that is wild. <laughs> Yo, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. My bad. My bad. No, bro, it's cool. But I'm really, I'm out in the open with 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 this shit, man. Like. Uh, I still talk on some military installations about it um, to like younger, younger troops and shit like that. But um, about how to recognize the signs of mental health going down um, and when to seek help. Mm-hmm. Bro, listen, I got a wife, f- four kids, good house, mortgage. You know, I got you know the white picket fence. I'm living good. Right. But that doesn't mean I still don't have issues. You know what I mean? So I internalize all that, talk to my support system, and we we just try to navigate it. You know what I mean? Um, So, yeah. Yeah. My mental health, today at least, is good. Right? 
but it varies from time to time, mostly because of sleep shit. So um, that's why, you know, Skeleton or Nova might catch me up at two or three o'clock playing, playing <laughs> Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking, I was like, why am I up uh, this at 3 a.m.? But then I saw you up. I was like, okay, I'm good then. We good. Yeah, so I'd I be up forever, bro. Because I used to get like, uh, sorry for going on a tangent here, um, really bad sleep paralysis. I don't know if anybody knows um, what, what that is. Um, feels like, well, your body goes into REM sleep, but you're still awake. So like REM sleep, like the chemicals released, help you not act out your dreams so you're paralyzed like paralysis mm-hmm. right um but then you hallucinate because you're in your dream state and you're up so it feels like there's a demon on your chest and every mm-hmm. shadow in the room looks like some spooky ass shit and you can't do nothing right you know what i'm saying um uh, i found techniques and stuff to get out of it like curling your toes counting counting down to 10 and shit like that um but I used to like some people experience it like once or twice in their life, bro. That shit was nightly for me, bro. I was yeah. terrified to go to sleep. <laughs> That's scary, bro. Like I've only experienced it maybe once or twice in my life. I couldn't imagine experiencing it like nightly, bro. So I, yeah. I totally understand how that could be scary. So Arushan uh, Eppinger says I have sleep paralysis a lot. Hey, so like the trick that I've learned was like never, ever, ever sleep on your back, ever. Mm-hmm. Even if that's like your comfortable state sleep on your stomach or your side mostly your side because sometimes it still happen on your stomach but do not sleep on your back bro shit's crazy then you can feel it coming down too and that's just like the worst i'll go i'll, I'll wake up and go you know spin the block <laughs> <You know? laughs> i'm not doing this today I feel but yeah mm-hmm. um but cool man thanks for that question bro thank you um super dope uh, and then Black Ronin also, I think we kind of covered this. He said, what's up, Longhouse Crew, who's joined Dragon Dogma 2 and taking down Chimeras? We, oh boy, we a scale, our boy. We, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we out there getting it, bro. Um, nah, Yobi, you don't need to send me a mic, bro. We, <laughs> and then Yobi has, has one more. He says, best book you ever read and why? Mm. Nova, I'll start with you on that one. Best book I ever read and why? Wow. Um, man. Probably is isn't is it called the four seasons? I have the book right downstairs. It's called, I think it's called like the four seasons or something like that. The four agree. No, it's the four agreements. So I have I was going through something at the time, man. And it was it pretty much helps you like um like kind of see yourself like as you're going through things and how you should be processing it and, and trying to be like, not as hard on yourself for going through things and experiencing things, man. So the four agreements was awesome. Um, When I was a kid, I will say probably any of the RL Stein goosebumps books fire. Um, I recently just started trying to get some of my childhood stuff back, you know? So I just started, I picked back up inline skating, uh, rollerblading for those that, that don't know. And I'm trying to pick back up some of my childhood books, man. So that one. And uh, last one, I will say probably Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay. Help I heard that was at, good. Yeah, help me look at finances in a whole, whole other different light, man. So if y'all haven't Dope. read that one, check it out. Dope, man. What about you, Scale? The first thing that came to mind for me was probably uh, The Shining. I know that's crazy. <laughs> that sounds nuts, but I'm a big uh, Stephen King guy. And uh, I'm reading The Stand right now. It's a long-ass book. But, um, yeah, The Shining, man. And if you've seen the movie, you know what it is. But the book is just a little different. And to, I've never really gotten, like, chills and scares kind of, like, from a book. But that sh- was was amazing to me. So, big fan of those. Uh, childhood, uh, my uh, grandmother was a avid avid reader so she bought me a lot of stuff early on she bought me like lord of the rings early on so i read that in like sixth seventh grade uh those mm-hmm. are good and uh harry potter yeah boy okay. them shits had me geek i was real when the movies came out i was red t <laughs> <laughs> i knew everything like i was killing them books i was i was fan but so it was childhood yeah the hps was was good but scary books uh going forward for the most part 
I need to start reading more I'm self-help book is biops. I'm gonna read a Charlemagne's book, Charlemagne the God mm. book soon. Yeah, I'm try to okay. catch up on those. Dope, man. Um, Jay Dark said, read uh, uh, Desperation from Stephen King. Scale, mm-hmm. put that on your list. I'm going to do that. I'm going to write that down. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> um, somebody in here said they were reading Project Hail Mary, bro. And that book by Andy Weir is good. I don't read a lot of fiction, right? But like, I try to read fiction that's grounded, I guess, in in... I guess science, like real science, you know what I mean? So, so Andy Weir like did the Martian and shit like that. <laughs> so like Project Hail Mary was good. It was pretty dope. I hope they adapt a TV series for it. Like it was it was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Um my favorite book is The People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. Um which gives it's it's a really interesting read. So it's a history book just like you would have in college, right? Um, from the you know from the Mayflower on, right? Mm-hmm. But it gives the accounts of the people versus, um, so like journals and letters from the people living in that time versus you know the government writing it up or so like a first right? person presentation right. of the story, bro. Yeah. It's fucking good, bro. Yeah. Um, so that, that that's by far my favorite book. I read a lot of nonfiction. Um, a lot. I haven't, I haven't read one lately, though. I need to get back on it, but I'm pressed for time. <laughs> so <laughs> it'd be audio books for me if I do get into something. Um, but yeah, man, a lot of good, uh, Good, good stuff in here, man. Oh, yeah, it's Nerds and Other Legends reading Project Hell Mary. Rand, Rand recommended that? Okay. That's dope. Yeah, it's a good book. All right, man. Uh, can I say one more thing about Dragon's Dogma? Please and thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you have a good rig or if you have an Xbox Series X, buy that shit. <laughs> 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 I'm not mad at that. I'm not either. Bro, it I, I, is, it has, like, the more hours I put into it, like, you know, Unicorn Overlord was my number one. This took the spot. Yeah. I yeah. feel it. Yeah. I'm just thinking about the combat. Like, the, the little details are so, like, the hair moving on some of the beast and yeah, just bro. stuff like that. It's like, it's really deep. I just understand why it's pushing that hard. The leveling system. Mm. Um, you know, like the new, like I'm, I'm still doing Sword and Shield, bro, because I don't want to do the, the big, uh, unless that like gets me something. Oh, I a, yeah, I don't want to do that yet. Um, mm. cause I'm enjoying like some of the, um, combat systems with the Sword and Shield. Exactly. Um, God, it's so fucking good, bro. Yeah. And then like leveling, like, you know leveling up your your pawn that you created too because my mm. my pawn is an archer or whatever oh, wow. bro she be boy she be out here in these streets boy. it's critical <laughs> man mine's a healer so i was like bro please she goes down when she yeah. is hit. i'm like and that should be when your pawn goes down you mm-hmm. will fucking know it <laughs> mm-hmm. she got that scary. cloth armor on too since she a right. mage yes sir Damn. Yeah. But she does everything else. <laughs> That's dope. And uh, MJ Dark said the original Dragon Saw was amazing. Mm-hmm. And Dogma 2 feels like the game that Capcom always wanted to make. That's dope. That's what I'm saying. If, like, there's moments like you can tell Monster Hunter's in there. You can just feel their games in this game. Like, this yeah. seems like something they do. And it's fun. Bro, the cooking. Have you cooked something? <laughs> Bro. <Bruh>. Listen. <laughs> Bro. Listen. I was like, whose artistic direction was to put a real video in this shit? Because it slaps. It slaps. And I, I was looking. I, I, I was looking. I was like, is this real or is this 3D? I can't tell. And bro, Capcom is good. You should see Monster Hunter is cooking. Like they be, they know food mm-hmm. in their games. And this yeah. one, it's sizzling. I'm like, damn. It's a real video, Robert. Yeah, like, it's it's real not, <laughs> like somebody was really cooking. I saw, I seen it. I saw that big ass thing. That's killer boy. Bruh, I was like, cooking. 
<laughs> that I shit like, made me hungry. Boy. It made me hungry. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's sizzling. I'm like, Dick. I'm just little. They didn't have to do that. It's little stuff like that, man. I love I'm a big fan of little details in life and in game. So like yeah, that bro. just that's so I'm sold. I'm having fun. Shit is so cool, bro. Yes. Um, yeah. The sorcerer said. I mean, Fresco said the sorcerer got a skill where they bring down meteors and clear the block. It's Damn. crazy. Because I started playing the sorcerer for a little bit. And I was like, man, I don't. I'm already like rank six. I don't want to go back to rank one and like start over and like. So yeah. I'm gonna hit that when I reach the highest level of that vocation. I'm gonna switch to, to some okay. magic. But I like scrapping. I think the hand to hand. Me too, bro. Is fun. It's fun, like, bro. It's, it's so fun. fun. So yeah, what's really the defensive fun. mechanics like? Is it block? Is it parry? Because I haven't seen any like real you can real block. Fight. You, can, you can parry. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Dash. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like as you get like other skills, like you can you can like call like if there's like a big beast and like he's fucking up your people, you can like do a thing to where it enrages them to come to you. Oh, like a taunt mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, taunt. Yeah. And yeah. then there's another skill you can use to charge up while he's coming towards you, bro. And Hadouken! that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's counters like there's just it's a, clean bro the only thing it's missing and i don't know if it's missing on purpose is a roll that's that's what i'll be wanting to do the most is fucking roll away and i i don't know if that's yeah there's no roll yeah. yeah i think it's, they i think it would have drawn too many comparisons to to uh, a soul a souls game yeah, yeah it would have yeah. it definitely yeah. will fucking help i will say that, <laughs> he said, like, I need that. Uh, there'll be moments where i'm like i'm cooked i'm like and it, <laughs> boo i'm like i mm. can't do it i'm like Block, not. I'm like, oh my god, it's so yeah. fun, though, man. It's, the combat is just the blood and the 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 wear and tear on the people is. Yeah, you bro. see them cut up. They're cut up. <laughs> like, it's yeah. Crazy. Listen, chat. If anybody's out there capping that's saying that this game is bad, tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah, true. because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not bad. If it if it the only issue is performance. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that's literally the only issue I'm having with the game. Because them that, cuts is definitely hitting those hitting that CPU tough. I ooh, guarantee you, boy. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. It's hitting, man. And, <laughs> and and Nova, when you sent us that video uh by CPU Jesus, what's his name? Uh, uh Gamers Nexus. Gamer Nexus. Gamer Nexus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um like I was shocked that they was only using like 4090 as a bit. Like, like, bro, like that's not we talked about this a little bit like that's mm -hmm. not every gamer bro like that's not even close <laughs> i don't know one person personally i know a lot of people online but that's online right they have 4090s or say they have 4090s but like okay but yeah not for game like for gaming because like 40 a lot of people buy 4090s whether like video production. or like yeah production mining, mining um mm -hmm. but just for like gaming i know they sold a lot of 4090s but like yeah most people are on the 20 and 30 series shit that 1080 is still kicking it bro 1080 is still <laughs> kicking it that must be one of the best gps of all time seriously like, yeah. it has to be because people are still, still using kicking. it yeah my mm -hmm. gps already was on the down climb like but people still on 1080s like if they're playing i mean shit, it's working so yeah. yeah, I think they really wanted to showcase a little bit about like the differences on the, the CPUs, too, though, because one part of the video, they had like a big stack of CPUs and they was kind of running their hands through it. So they wanted to show since it's a CPU heavy game, they wanted to show right. how it stacks up yeah. on several different CPUs without having the GPU itself being the specific bottleneck. So I think right. that's maybe I don't know, but they, they did. It, it was kind of odd to just see only like the 4090. Yeah, yeah it was weird with that. Cause I'm sure like you can have like an i9 13 series card in the 4090 and it runs decent, right? Yeah. But or good, <laughs> right? But like if you have an i9 13 13 generation and you're running on a 2060, like it might be Dookie Butter. I, I think you know it, I, I mean? think this game specifically, I think if you have a great or better CPU, you're better off. You're today. good. Bro, okay. I mean, my my shit be like well, you're right because you're saying CPU percent usage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, never, it don't even try to use a GPU. I'm like, use it. <laughs> the right case is on. Use it. God. <laughs> but when you here? but notice but, how much of your GPU is used once you leave town, though, because that's yeah, when yeah. the GPU right. kind of kicks in. Yep, yep. Right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 
that CPU like about to pop. <laughs> Bro, my shit be at like ninety five in town. I'm like, God damn, <laughs> like, this is scary. I don't like it. But the game is great. I don't give a shit what anybody says. The game, the, the game is like you forget about all performance issues, bro. Once you once you start getting it in, mm-hmm. bro, it's just so fucking. And most bad, of the man. getting it in is outside of the towns. That's the thing. Like outside of town, I've had flawless looking gameplay. Like I'm saying, when I get that 50 frames, it'd be looking buttery. It's not 60, yeah. but it looks like it's good. Like it looks really good. I'm like, man, <laughs> if I had yeah. something hot, oh. <laughs> Bro, I was laughing at that too. Yo, my brother love. I go, you a fool, bro. <laughs> Diddy, <laughs> somebody, somebody tra- started to trademark no Diddy, bro. Yeah, it's a good one. I ain't gonna find. That's nuts. Unless he's though. innocent. <laughs> Go status. <laughs> oh, you a, you a trip for that, bro. You crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go ahead and switch some gears. Unless every everybody got the dogma out of them. The dogma out of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nova. Go ahead and set us up with your topic, bro. Man, in uh, E3 2018, Bethesda Gaming Studios confirmed that they were going they were working on an Elder Scroll Six. Um, as of yet, there's still no release date for this game. Um, and I know you gentlemen loved you some Skyrim chat. Y'all love some Skyrim. I know pretty much the whole world loves Skyrim. More, hey, don't, don't trip. It, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, loved them all. You loved Morrowind, them all. I did not. But Oblivion I did not like Skyrim. Morrowind either. Yeah, Morrowind was. Uh, I liked all them shits, bro. Can I know you me? did. Matter of fact, I don't know if we told chat this, but back in the day, I had Morrowind, and I and I let Black Viking have it because I know he loves that, loves those types of games. But anyway, never got it back. So, I'm sure. No, nope. I gave it to him. I gave it to him. I told him he <laughs> can have it because <laughs> I knew. <laughs> hey, the third, the fourth time I swung at that spider and it didn't hit it, boy. I said, "No, sir." The hit the was up. so bad. And I was like, "Shoot." Slow ass, it's, it's yeah. not hitting. I'm like, yeah. and then they don't hit, they don't hit your ass though. Bad, yeah. them rats was ass. fucking me up. I was like, nah, bro. Nah. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I, I am clear. The sword is going through you. This game ain't for me. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway, it's a it's a great successor probably to Skyrim. Like Skyrim's out everywhere. Um, and it, they said that they're going to be returning to Tamriel, and uh, but. Uh, allegedly there is a early build out that people are playing currently man so i wanted to ask you guys this uh question i'm gonna go to you first viking yeah um firstly are you excited about uh this game being in development because i know you do enjoy these games so i I pretty much can already know what you're gonna say on that one but does a bear share shit in the woods Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. It does. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your answer. So, but <laughs> but, uh, but secondly, uh, and what mechanic do you expect to be in this game, Elder Scrolls Six, for you to be like, all right, man, they doing right by uh, the you know being a successor for Skyrim? What mechanic do you need for it to be in the game to be like, this is it, Chief? All right. Um, God. Okay. So yes, I'm very very excited for Elder Scrolls Six. Um, as far as mechanics go, listen, I'm not, I have a low bar, right? Cause Skyrim was probably one of my top three favorite games ever. Right. And then seeing what they were doing with the creation engine for Starfield. Um, if they can somehow increase the, fa- the facial animations mm-hmm. within Starfield, and have a it's not a lot like i'm not i'm not picky when it comes to this shit right because like i feel like those type of games are what you make of it right um like the more you put in i think the more you get out of it the if they increase the facial animations from starfield and have it to where you don't zoom in on the person have it more like uh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's more third, it's more like third person, like talking or whatever to people, unless it's like cinematic. Mm-hmm. Um, which Skyrim didn't have very many cinematics. 
um, within it, um, and they decrease or because this is going to be next gen. This is like we're talking 2028 here, yeah. more than likely. Um, and they decrease load times or just get rid of load times altogether. If they stick with the current tech, because they're not going to Unreal, like they're going to use their creation engine, which is like a fantastic engine, right? Um, because like, have you ever noticed in creation engine that you can go to a planet, leave a piece of toilet paper, like leave a toilet paper roll somewhere and then jump off, do whatever you want to do, like in other galaxies and then come back and that shit's still there. Uh, like creation mm-hmm. is crazy when it comes to like memory, right? So, I don't so it stays the state of all objects. That's interesting. yes, yes. Um, that is crazy, actually. Yeah, which is probably why the the loading screens are so like strange, like within Starfield, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but like less loading screens would be dope. <sighs> multiplayer, probably not. I probably wouldn't care for multiplayer in that game um damn i don't know what else to bring okay i here's another thing i think they should make (laughs) make balance every class because everybody always like i i would i would go fighter i would go mage but at the end of the day i'm always going to go stealth archer because like that (laughs) (laughs) is clean Bruh, like, what else can you like? Stealth Archer was OP as shit. You know shit. What I'm saying? Because you hit harder when you're stealth, and it's not in your stealth. Bro, and nobody not. can see you, bro. You'll be sitting in the doorway of a cave, right? Or the, the you know what I'm saying? And the pop one, pop two, pop three. And like, they just like, er, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you hitting like a truck. <laughs> they yeah. all out. Did you so get everybody all and stuff. Yeah, so I'll, and then um, another feature I want, I don't want them to do like what they did with Starfield. I think it should be day and date mod support. Ooh. The the mod should get the kit to do what they do Damn. Um, with it. Starfield, I think that was a bit of a blunder. We get it this year, which is cool. I guess it kind of, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to cap for them i was gonna say prolong the life of the game but no like give mods the support at the very beginning um because that's what makes bethesda game special man is is seeing what other people can do same with halo with the forge system you know what i mean mm-hmm. seeing what yeah. the community can do with the game um it's always yeah. so fucking dope man yeah and plus but, yeah. like it's always a good idea for the company too, because you then at that point your user base is creating the content for themselves. Correct. You know what I mean. And you don't have to really drop it on a frequent cadence uh, if they if they have some stuff like that. Hey, I know that Roblox get get cra- go crazy on that. I know that um, Minecraft. I think uh, they have like stuff that you can do uh-huh. like that too. Yeah, create their own content. Stay yep. on there. Yeah, Skyrim went crazy. Skyrim, went, Skyrim crazy. went so crazy. Like Thomas the train, as bro. The dragon. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's wild. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, in, like funny. increasing the graphics, adding yeah. more depth to the map, adding new villages, adding yeah. whole new continents, <laughs> bro. Like if they would have released the the creation kit with Starfield day and date, bro. Like yeah, it would have because good. people because you have the whole fucking universe to. To craft some shit, you know what I mean? It'd have been nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, modders would have went crazy, but they'll go crazy this summer probably if it comes out this summer. Yeah, that's me. All right, man. All right, but me, um, I these these aren't my games for real personally usually, but um, I don't know, man. I actually might pick this one up. I know, I know, I've been off since Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't play Skyrim. Now I dude, I tried to play Skyrim so many times and I just I it just I didn't get that far in it, bro. I didn't give it an honest try. I'll be honest. I only give it maybe like an hour or two. Uh, I may have made it to the first quest or two. I didn't give it an honest try, bro. So oh man. Unfortunately, yeah. you do have to put hours into the yeah. 
get the most out of it for sure. It's just, it's because it's because the randomness in the game is makes it so good and the ex- exploration. You have to just go out and explore and get lost, and then some random shit around. Somebody run up to you, help! Or yeah. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like get the, like on fall or fall out when the dude came up to you with the bomb on his neck. I just remember that as far as like the <laughs> game. You know, I'm like, damn, you about to blow up? That's crazy. <laughs> like the stuff like that. Like Skyrim does the same thing. It's like I. A lot of it is what you make it like. Get it like yeah. yeah. It. Like the more time you put into it, the better. I I know I know that's like squeamish to a lot of gamers, right? Like the game should be good from the get go, but like that's not how Bethesda rolls, bro. No, like no, no. <laughs> no it, I, it, I think it, yeah, it's it's just that type of game. You know what I mean? I know that they're great games, and I know that they have a target audience. It's just yeah, it's just harder for me to engage in those types of games when it picks up that slow. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think if I get to where everybody loves it. I think it'll be a phenomenal game for me. It's just a struggle for me at the front end. It's just because this it's a it's a real RPG. Like you have to level up a lot in order to get yeah. strong. Like you're mm-hmm. really, really, really trash at the beginning. You're literally like in Skyrim, you're fucking get out of jail. <laughs> yeah. Like you got nothing. You just have your character history and a couple things, and then you just you make it from there. You, you just a ran- dragonborn. <laughs> yep. You just a random nigga in Diddy's house, bro. Like you just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so sitting in the corner watching wild shit happen. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part about the, like the interactions in the game. Like you just see some crazy shit. You just see people fighting randomly, and it be events, and then they'll have a whole story after. It's like wow, he was cheating type and it's like you go do a quest for a dark shout out to the dark brotherhood on skyrim mm-hmm. always go with the dark brotherhood that that whole quest line is so dope it's so cool man like uh, and and a lot of good stuff about this like yeah. elder scrolls games just there's so much variant like you don't have to do a lot of things but if you do them you just get stuff that you would not i don't know if y'all remember the waba jack do y'all that you remember that the waba jack it's a staff that literally did random shit. Yes. Like it did random <laughs> yep. things, bro. When I say random things, it would spawn people. It would spawn portals. It would shoot things. I it had my shoot. favorite. My favorite staff was one that spawned this demon, bro. And he would, he was just too OP, bro. So I used <laughs> yeah. them everywhere. Like, I would literally spawn them and then go back outside. And then, like, he would just wreak <laughs> havoc in there. He <laughs> said, I'll be outside. <laughs> Clean up for me. <laughs> it's just stuff like that, but you have to do a lot of stuff to get shit like that. You, you, they make it worth your time. That's why I like those. Like, boy, some boy, we're gonna get something good for this. I did a lot of shit. I died three times and everything. I'm auto say, oh, and they, they, it's usually worth it for the most part. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I really, I really do like those games. But like, what kind of mechanic are you looking forward to, Nova? Uh, that's a like great what? question. I'm look, I'm looking forward to the game because uh, it. If there was a, as I know, this is an unpopular opinion um, in the chat. I would love to see co-op. I'm a co-op fan. I like to play with friends. You know what I mean? And I don't know how well that would align with this type of game because I haven't gotten that far in them. So um, if, if there is some ESO way. You yet? Mm-mm. Uh, ESO is not very Skyrim-like, but it's, it's in the same universe. It's gotten a lot better over the years. Um, I think we was all going to play, but I think that there was no cross cross play at the time. That shit had issues at first too. Yeah, at first it did. That shit's that shit's peak now though. Yeah, I'm sure. That shit's. Yeah. I heard it's good. Fallout seventy six too. No, that that's had, crazy. I thought that was dead on arrival, boy. No, it, it started off shit, so rough. It was horrible. It that was, shit's. <laughs> yeah, that shit's peak now. Like it's, really, it's it got yes. slammed when it, it came out. It was trash. Yeah, there was, was everybody was like, "Where's the NPC?" It's like, <laughs> anything. There was nothing in the game. I was like, "This is not," and it looked like shit. Oh my! <laughs> I was like, that's why I don't like about Fallout. Sometimes it's because I just get tired of the post-apocalyptic. Now, don't get me wrong. Fallout will add things that are beautiful. Like there's random sections where there's grass and it's a beautiful area. I remember one of the Fallouts had like a whole live tree. You got to his area and you had to kill him and type shit. It was great. Stuff like that. But for the most part, that game is hideous. And I just get tired of seeing like ugly shit all the time. And I don't mean ugly as far as the zombie people. It's the whole it's the whole environment yeah. is like nasty looking. But that's why I like Skyrim because it's prettier as far as those type of games go. Yep. 
Now that is one thing that I did like about Skyrim Man is like the it seemed like the characters kind of glowed a little bit. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I did like how the world looked. Yeah, it looked the like world a, is yeah. good. It's beautiful, yeah. beautiful set. They, they, there's a lot of set pieces in the, in Skyrim that you're like, wow, this is crazy. Even just walking up the mountain for the first time and dealing with the gray beards and getting whacked by that fucking Yeti and just ruins your whole trip up. Yep. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. it's like stuff like it's it's a really well done game. Bro, All the Yetis used to piss me the fuck off, boy. Boy, they were strong as shit. I remember being on my last leg fucking with them. It was rough. <laughs> It was Heck fun yeah. though. That game will make you be real creative and thoughtful how to get out of a situation as well. You got to use some yep. critical thinking. Like you're down to these things, you don't have nothing left. What you gonna do? You either gonna fail or you could you could damn near get yourself soft locked. You're good. <laughs> like mm-hmm. don't mess up too bad. Like you could get soft locked. So, <clears> okay. Yeah. Well, earlier but, you but, guys were talking about Fallout. I, I just I was gonna say uh, earlier you guys were talking about Fallout I, in the article and doing my research for this specific game. The person said that they probably not going to release the next Fallout till 2035 because they're working on this one. Sounds about right. Yep, sounds good. That's fine, too. They need, <laughs> it needs all the delay it can get. Like, it, it's it's crazy that we expect, and this game is going to take so long to come out. I'm talking about Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, it's taking up so long to come out. It's still going to come out buggy. We're okay with that. But it needs yeah. to be a, the most minimum bugs we can get. It's going to be a lot of them still. But yeah, what's crazy is okay. that you know, mm-hmm. it is Bug Fester, right? But Starfield came out oh. quite polished, pretty good compared to to previous Bethesda titles, Definitely. bro. Definitely. Um, I expect well, a lot of glitches with that. All with that one. Yeah, and then plus, like, even though this might not come out till 2028, 2029, like Starfield, the creation kit comes out to modders this year. They have the DLC this year. That's just gonna it's gonna hold people. Until yeah. until then, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be Gucci. I'm waiting on that to give it another. I'm waiting on another run of the Starfield, especially when I upgrade my computer because it can run better. It's like that's what I'm I'm I love Star. That's what I love these games, man. I love just walking around and doing things. I love the fucking doors on Starfield. <laughs> yeah, all of the doors are so cool. I'm and just I'm that's man. I hope they have some. I don't know. I'm excited for Elder Scrolls Six for sure. Mm-hmm. Man, can I grab some of these before we get to what you want? In the well, let's yep, super go ahead. finish uh, his, but like uh, Lotus Esprit, they donated 99 cents right here with a super Thank chat. You. Appreciate What's it. Pop, man? They said, Get you a sweet tea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the mayor's on his boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> For the kids. And then they came through. They said, we want to hear the horn. Hey. $20 from Lotus Esprit. Thank you, Lotus. Shout out to Lotus, man. Oh, the keys, yeah. Bro. Oh, the keys, yeah. Oh, the keys, yeah. I might get a Lotus tattooed on my neck, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you a straight neck, dude. That's great. Not he on the arm. <laughs> he said, neck tap me, baby. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Somebody's Somebody been practicing. Improved with the lagginess. That's, <laughs> That's crazy. It sounds good today for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Keep what I'm talking here. about. That was for you, Lotus. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? That Lotus. Lotus said, "Pause. There ain't no pause. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no ditty." <laughs> Mm, man, nerds said their 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 headphones vibrated. <laughs> uh, you might want to check your headphones. Might be one of Diddy's toys up in there. Bro. You know what I'm saying? God, <laughs> Diddy gonna come after us, bro. All right. You. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you know, you definitely ain't getting invited to no revolt parties. No more revolt. I don't think I want to go. Uh, <laughs> let me rethink that. They might be fun. Let me be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Don't know. <laughs> all right, man. Um, scale. What about you, man? Mechanic. Oh, well, hold on, Nova. Did you? I got mine you off, say, man. Yeah. You, say you want some co-op? Um, I do want some co-op. Okay. 
But that's it. That's it. It'd man. be so it's cool good. if they modded it to make it into like an MMO, bro. That'd be crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Could you imagine like a Dang. you have your own server within Tamarel, you have like up to 20 people up in that thing mm-hmm. doing whatever. Mm. That'd be nuts. That'd be yeah. cool. That, Actually, I, hey, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I played a version of uh Mario 64 that was like that. You could pick mm-hmm. different uh characters and y'all all play uh on a server together and you can go out and go get individual stars and yep. it counts to the total and, and they had abilities them. and stuff too That's yeah i was playing as yoshi yoshi mm-hmm. had the little run it was dope it was so cool. yeah do that that's cool all right y'all heard that modders you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, after y'all give me afro samurai and ghost of Tsushima, y'all can start working on that i'm sure they're hard at work boy <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Scale? What uh, what stuff do, would you like to see um, in Elder Scrolls Six? Um, mechanics I would like to see. Uh, I agree with you with the uh, faster loads or no loads. That's always a. We've all stared at that Skyrim, whatever pops up on the Skyrim black screen with the fog behind. We've all been on that screen for a long time mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. that improved throughout the years but it used to be a i was playing it on 360 boy i had the longest loads and I, I was happy to wait hopefully i didn't have to go right back and do another load but mm-hmm. um so yes that would be good um i would like beef up in uh just detail as far as not the character and everything surrounding the character so environments are having with trees blowing npcs have full cycles of life yeah. um weather effects um snow that you can feel and walk through and it affects the environment just just yeah, think- scale out here trying to blow up everybody's cpu just let you know <laughs> <laughs> they're already doing it i'm asking for everything. Everything. <laughs> they're already doing it we're in the next gen i can't even play the game so shit. like i want all of it because i'll get there at some point shit. but yeah exactly exactly and plus this probably will not come out until 2028 like you're saying yeah, i'm you not right? expecting this anytime soon yeah me either bro it might not be 2030 bro like I ain't gonna hold it. Hey, like, if it is that long, then my shit should be good to go. Like the things yeah. I want, they should be able to accomplish because other games are gonna accomplish the other like those same things just in smaller scale, just spread out or one thing. But you know, uh, they'll give us everything. But mm-hmm. that and uh maybe a little more in the fighting mechanics as far as sword play. I would like maybe a clash of swords. Even though it's first mm. person, maybe we can lock swords of some of that nature. Just oh, like a little, clean. just a little beef up and stuff like that. Uh, maybe weak spots for individual joints and things like that. As far mm. as battle, you know, you hit a dude in the leg and he actually like hits, you know, fall like gets hit there. You shoot an arrow at him and that arrow will stay the whole time. Type stuff mm-hmm. like every arrow stays like that type of stuff. Hey, right. dogma's doing it now. Them arrows yeah. are stuck in people. They do be, bro. <laughs> it's just clean. It's clean. So just you know, just little lot of more little details is what I want. And they they do it every mm-hmm. time. They always add like good little details and stuff. Um, let me put some buckets on people's heads again. You know, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> just get my stealth on. I'm joking. No, I don't need that. But I do like that stuff. It's, it's just it's just what makes Skyrim and Elder Scrolls, you know, Elder Scrolls. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that would be good for me. Um, um, boss fight that uh, is scaled large. I would like a large scale boss fight. I know the dragons and stuff like that were were fairly large, but they I want I want like maybe Elden Ring style arena type of boss fights, maybe. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm so against the arena style. That's why I think that's why yeah. I like Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, because it's like it's open and you can use the environment around you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Well, that's They're, that's what I mean. But th- those are still like s- arenas, though. Like I just fought a Griffin. It was yeah. in, like an arena style. Like they're they're still arenas, but you can like travel outside of them, type of thing. But you're never gonna travel. Yeah. They just need to be wide enough to where you don't travel out. That's what I mean. Because these are okay. Like if you're, yeah. like if you're fighting a, a a large scale thing, it has to be like outside. You know, it has to be able to be openly surrounded, and it can. And as soon as you walk too far away. The battle will probably end because you're out of you know out probably of the so area. like so like the final boss of Skyrim the talking dragon or whatever yeah. it was it was very uh focused 
in mm. that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. just focus in the area. And if you leave the area, it stops. Or you could chase your ass, some shit. But like, yeah. I just, you know, I, no, no, no. I don't want it in like a coliseum. I just want okay, it got you. in an area, like a large right. area. Because, uh, you know, just bigger scale for some boss fights. But the thing is, with they don't really, like they have boss fights in Skyrim, but they're not, they feel just like all the other fights, kind of. Right. I mean, they're set yeah. up different. And, th and I like that. I like because it, it keeps you immersed in the same type of role. But, and I would like it in this, and if they did it in this one too, just kind of make it feel like you didn't leave. Like you walked up and the shit's starting. Elden Ring-esque. Yeah. But not quite, yeah. you know. Well, they they kind of had them too in Skyrim with the like I remember one thing coming out of the tomb or whatever, mm, and it was in that yeah, cave yeah. area, like in a couple like mage battles. When you especially when you go in them them, them tombs and those yeah. uh those yeah the see now those, those kind of like the arena fight though most of the time yeah yeah the tomb, yeah the tomb and dungeon fights and I and that's fine too but I just I'm cool with keeping that but I I just want them out so we don't have to go into something to get that type of fight. And I know that's Got hard. You. I know that's difficult, mm -hmm. but you we're going to be in 20, role, we're gonna be in 2028, 20, 2030. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. They just yeah. Need, I think they need to just take some notes from like Elden Ring and stuff like that maybe. Just a little bit, like a little bit. Yeah. Actually, I feel like they should probably take some notes from y'all. So Bethesda, if y'all hear these, are, <laughs> <laughs> these are some great ideas, bro. I'm sitting here like, yep, I play that. I that's play that too. Like these yep. are great ideas. So Bethesda, if y'all need some help with game design, Black Viking. Yeah, Black fly Spelling. us out. Mm -hmm. Got gotcha. Fly us out. <laughs> yep. We'll come play that early build too. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be in there. Mm -hmm. I'll sign the NDA. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Diddy. <laughs> Bruh, you can't. He's tweaking tonight. <laughs> hey, no way. <laughs> He's outside that NDA, did he? <laughs> oh man, um, all great points. Can I add something? Yeah, go ahead, man. Because this only happens in sports games nowadays, but I remember it happened in Rainbow Six. Was it? Something Vegas, Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six Vegas. Was it called Vegas? I think so. I, we need for these for all of these games. The tech is there. We all have high iPhones with fucking three cameras on them. They're good. Let us face scan properly. Ah, uh, uh, I feel that. And with phones nowadays, you're probably right. We could, but they tried that shit with connect on 2K. Them shits look like ass. They <laughs> did, but the tech is there now. I, I agree. The tech is there. Hey, Vic, you gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie. When you I see the video where a dude was laughing like that and they had a the little spray bottle. <laughs> And, and when you was laughing like that, bro, I was visiting that in my head. And I'm so glad that Vic said that. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that was good. He's that was good <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, you can kiss my ass, Vic. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why Viking laugh like a spray bottle? That's good. Oh. Fuck off, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I love Vic. Thank you for that. That was a good laugh. Um, but yes, and then the other thing I thought of was the house building, like like to furnish your house, was so good. And the ESO, it's even better. Mm. Keep building upon that, bro. Yeah, because because I, I like it's already good in Skyrim and in ESO. Um, if y'all could do it even better, bro, let me buy some land and I could build my own house. I like doing the like the sim shit. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I will spend hours doing that. I just would like them to give us enough and things to do in the house and just have more built with that. I do like, I love that too. Cause I want my own crib and then I just want to be able to work out of the crib somehow too. Yeah. Something. Oh yeah. 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 Like, like you can like set up, like you can kind of set up a farm, mm -hmm. right? Be able to and make like, like something from it. Yeah, a farm would right. be ideal. Like a, like a farm, and and kind of make it tower defensey because you can hire people to watch your land while you're out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that shit would be cool. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good ideas. 
That's what I'm saying. Y'all need to get flued out. <laughs> Bethesda. <laughs> Todd. Mr. Howard. Listen. I still want that watch, by the way, Mr. Howard. The star we, we, we've <laughs> never met. Um, but we're great fans of your work and your team's work. Shout out to the guy. God, I forgot his name, bro. The guy that did all the weapon weapon uh models for Starfield. Shout out to him. Oh, that is um, sick. <clears throat> yeah, we like your work. Fly us out, man. We'll uh take a good look, and you know, we're not yes men. You know what I mean? Nope. We'll tell you straight up. We love we love Bethesda games, and we'll. You know, <laughs> we're gonna let you know. We gonna let you know, yeah, baby. Yeah, you no, know. we wanted to succeed too. So yeah, gotcha. He probably looking at this like these niggas don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say the N word, but you know, <laughs> what if he did? No, now it's just him. <laughs> Not even hard R. Just. Like, he's- <laughs> uh, Toddy hey H. You better not do that, bro. Uh. Uh-uh. No. Nah. Um, what about you guys? Uh, what do y'all want to see in the next Elder Scrolls Six, bro? Uh, you talking chat right now? Yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of good good stuff going on. Did they? Mm-hmm. Um, let me see if we got anything. I think we had <clears throat> um, Dark Side nineteen twenty three said good night from the Bahamas. Good night to you, brother. Yeah. Good night to you. Um, he said he was playing ball. I think I saw a comment from him. He was playing Dragon's Dogma on the PS5. He said it was good, man. Was I think really good. Gonna be, y'all are y'all are good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was. It was hard for me because I really wanted to play it on PC, but I was like, I'll double dip when you know when them Steam sales happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe a whole Capcom sale. Um, and then Locus Esprit asks a question Are we hearing anything about another Hogwarts game? Oh man, I honestly don't think it will get another one after the controversy from the last, even though it was a major success in one of my favorite games of the year. Seriously, like that, I, I don't know, man. JK, JK. yeah. yeah. But it Not, sold. Did it sell? Did it sell well? I know it bro, wasn't. It was the yeah. best selling game last year, bro. Yes, so, period. Like, they'll do another one. Yeah, they're gonna do another. They got to do another one. Like they yeah. might not get awards, but if you if you drop the game and it sold really well, you know, as a business, they gonna they gonna come back for that second one for sure. Oh yeah, so. and then I hope we get Quidditch. That was the only thing missing Ooh. was a real Quidditch game. Yeah, I think that what they might do. They, this is WB we're talking about, so they might do some ho shit. They might, <laughs> they might drop a live service like Quidditch. Quidditch. Harry yeah, man. <laughs> God damn, I I see that for sure. I'll play, and then and you get then, and brooms yep. and everything. Sounds and, great. And then maybe we'll get you know Hogwarts Legacy two or. Or something like that. that. Off the success of Quidditch yeah, multiplayer bro. or whatever. And, but I ain't gonna lie, I would play that. If it's me too. Free. Me I'm too. Oh, yeah. Quidditch to me, is that's a tight ass sport to see. I want to see building up that. I want to see gold, grabbing the snitch or stitch. Is snitch? Snitch. Gold mm. the gold. Yeah. I would love to do that. And I play. I don't know if you guys have played like the whole the old Harry Potter games, like PS2, 360 no. type stuff. Those mm-hmm. were some of them were solid. That so many, some of them didn't hit, but they had Quidditch in there, and it was cool, man. Can't even lie. So Quidditch yeah. would be cake. Yeah, I really fucked with the Hogwarts game. I think that w- I'm gonna be honest with you. Like in the last five years, I think that's the game I played the most consistently to beat quickly mm-hmm. right like because i was just having such a good time with it like literally every day i'd make time for it bro it'd yeah. be like you know kid kids put down hung out with the wife it'd be 11 o'clock i got work at six in the morning i'm still getting on because i just had that much fun with it and had I mean? real time like events going too so like you know the little plants you would like grow and stuff yep. like, on a real yep. timer so you had to get off 
then go mess with I, I told my girl one time, like, look, I gotta go back and check that right there because it's all always- <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the next match going. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that game was lit, bro. And then mm-hmm. lit listen, listen, chat. We we brothers up here. The way they nailed down these hairstyles. Yes. For the brothers. Killed it. And the sisters. Yeah. I've never seen a more crispy high top fade. The fade was so clean. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't, I ain't really seen that. The like, high top fade was uh, like, I don't even have a high. Uh, I almost went for it. I was like, nah, let me go ahead and get up. <laughs> you can really be clean. <laughs> let me go ahead and get my dreads old, bro. Yeah. But like that high top fade, the the line was crisp. Was crisp. They did their homework. Seems Bro. like they had some help with some culture, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> some consulting, <laughs> some <Okay>. consulting. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know why you need consulting for fucking hairstyles. Just type in, like, you can look at any. You know how you know, like black barbers, they have the number one, two. Yeah, <laughs> you, can get one right of those. <laughs> you can literally dog. You could literally go get one of those. They have books. You could go to a barber shop and grab that. That shit's so yeah. old. We, like we've been seeing mm. that our whole lives. It has yep. every style that a black person may want. <laughs> That's so the true, world. bro. This shit's been on the wall since the beginning of time. Too. I've gotten myself <laughs> a couple number sevens. You know what I'm saying? Like it's <laughs> heck yeah. Oh hey, shit, God. you probably, if you try to search that on Google <laughs> right now, black hairstyle, you might just only get that one haircut, how much it's been used these days. The Killmonger? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. bro. Hey, the, the character ain't black unless it has the Killmonger, apparently. Bro, apparently. Because, like... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I fucking hate that I'd shit, rather take bro. the cornrows back, man. That's all they used to give us was cornrows. So, oh, shit, yeah. I'll take it over the Killmonger. Bro, we, we just have such diverse hairstyles, bro. I don't know why. And I've never seen that in real life. Never. I've never seen nobody with that. I've nobody. seen it one time in the last 10 years, bro. And I guarantee that person does not have it anymore because you can't maintain a hairstyle like that all the time. You got to have a you free fade. Your hair is going to grow, so it's going to look like shit at some point. And it's damn near a free form. Like, that's the thing they don't know. This stuff we know, though. <laughs> so it's yep. like, get them consultants. <laughs> Okay, legendary Yobi said the live service game is called Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. I was a part of the closed beta. It was heat. Can't okay. say no more. Sure. Okay. All right, Yobi. Right. Uh, I'm gonna hit you in the DMs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said slide to the left. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Um uh, Humble Nation says. HBCU TikTok was on fire when Hogwarts came out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Oh. Shit. Bro, when I saw them while I was doing character customization, bro, I was like, there's no way they nailed these cuts like that. And that's sad. It we are. Sad. It was 2020 what? Three? Yeah. Or 22? 23. It was 23. Yeah. Beginning of 23. And we out here geeked over four hairstyles black people get. It can't be, it shouldn't be like that, bro. Just that easy. You made us happy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, bro. Just that easy. That's Dragon's crazy. Dogma's good too. I ain't gonna front. They got a good character. Yeah, too. yeah. It's it does. deep. That's I was on that shit for a long time. <laughs> they did, they did add the killmonger though. Yeah, I, I mean, you can't that. get away from it, but at as least it's not the only thing, you know. I what said, saying? bro, if I see a pawn with that cut, bro, I'm throwing them over. No, I'm not <laughs> into the ocean. Nice. No, awesome. Speaking of pawn, speaking of black, and speaking of pawn, the last, the last pawn I just picked up is a large black male, and his name is Tyrone. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> right, because you can I take wrote? other because you can take other like that's someone's created pawn, obviously. Yeah, like, people are creating wild ass pawns. I remember I seen like a naked pawn running around. I was like, bro, bro what <laughs> are people doing? They, they I went through I got one that's worse. I went through a portal and I was like, I ignored it because it was late, and I'm just trying to play my game, so I didn't want to get upset. Mm. Somebody made Mr. Popo, like just oh. straight black face. All pink lip, bro. <laughs> like I was it's like, no. Funny, but that, <laughs> I, expect that. I expect that. I expect that. It's the internet, for, man. 
with character creation, yes, I expect dumb shit like that. Street Fighter was doing the same shit. Capcom got good character creation, actually. Now, mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. They're really good at it. That's they give you a lot of freedom, man. You could pretty much create pretty much anything. Yeah, horrendous things. You can yeah. create crazy shit on Street Fighter. It's hilarious for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's just nuts. Let me get this really quick. We got Lotus Esprit with the $2 super sticker. Mm. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get my Reforge Gaming on right now. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but listen, guys, if we don't hit $1,000 by the end of the day, I can't play Friday night community gaming with you. <laughs> that's crazy. That is look, look, you guys gotta hustle. You guys gotta hustle, man. I need a thousand dollars before the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't do that. This shit for the kids, Lotus is free. You know that. Crazy oh, oh I got guys goat status, bro. That is not what the movie is called, bro. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> this- what he said. That is not what the movie is called. <laughs> I feel you, but that <laughs> yo, bro, that that is <laughs> what. I do want to see the movie he's talking about. It's I forgot. It's like the American Society for Magical. <laughs> <laughs> word, I don't know. I can't remember now. But that <laughs> wizarding. Play, oh, <laughs> I do want to see that movie. Oh my god. Oh man. Good. Shout out to Goat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> take that down, bro. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Hell to the no, bro. Oh man. All right, man. Let me. Uh, I got to do something for us real quick. Um, I would like to get y'all's opinion on something let me change this background up and then go to a tad out and present share screen whoo shit that was funny Crazy. okay oh yeah y'all can see this does yep. it look magical Perfect. Let, me see. let me see what it looks like on okay cool so yeah there was an article that came out by polygon Right, they interviewed Phil Spencer. This shit piqued my interest, bro. Listen, so I'm gonna start right here, bro. So Phil Spencer has tried all the new PC gaming hell held. So we all we've seen it. The Asus Rog Ally, that's my goat. The Lenovo Legion Go, that's MJ Dark's baby, right? And the Steam Deck, that's my boy Kasante. He liked the Steam Deck, but Phil Spencer's impressed. And he can't shake one question. How would he make them more Xbox? So Phil went on to say, and this was at GDC, everyone, over the weekend. He said, I want my Legion Go to feel like an Xbox. I bought the Legion Go. I brought the Legion Go with me to GDC, and I'm on the airplane, and I have this list of everything that makes it not feel like an Xbox. Forget about the brand. More like... Are all my games there? Do all my games show up with the save files that I want? I'll tell you one game that doesn't right now that's driving me crazy and it's Fallout 76. It doesn't have cross save. I don't know why he said that last part. Like he's the boss of them. He could tell them to do that. But like, <laughs> but he's a like he's alluding to kind of like what we've been saying, man. Like on this show, I know. Um, K. Asante has been talking about it and Everborn. Um, like, yeah, my I want my Rog Ally to feel like an Xbox, right? Like, to turn on and then everything is just there. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far as um, like my saves, which, which, which it does, but like, not all my games are there from, from the third party store or whatever. And that feels like something that, you know, he could work on. But let me read this and then I'll get y'all's thoughts. He said, I want to be able to boot into the Xbox app in a full screen, but in compact mode. And all my social experience is there. Like, I want to feel like the dash of my Xbox when I turn on my television, except I want it on those devices. He also said uh, he's considering different 
hardware form factors and things that they could go do um, as it plans to the future of Xbox hardware. He said, what we should, what should we build that will find new players? Um, that will allow people to play at times when they couldn't go play in the past. Nova. Yes, sir. What's this man saying, bro? I think he's starting off, man, with saying that he wants to have, because he sees all these handhelds, man, and he's impressed. And I'm also impressed, you know what I mean, by these handhelds. They look nice. They run nice. And uh, it's seeming like these things are going to be the future, man. So um, he wants to get that Xbox experience on his mobile device. But there is one concern I have with this, and I didn't really notice it until you just read it here. He mm -hmm. said that I, I want the Xbox experience on those devices. Right. Right. Which makes me feel a little bit shaky in a sense of the Xbox having its own handheld because you would still want to have, you know what I mean, your own device. Right. Like, right. It's just making me think that, like, all right, well, if they're thinking about, well, if he specifically, because this is not like a, a full Xbox thing, this is just his personal thoughts. So, like, if he wants to, <clears throat> excuse me, put the software on all the other devices. I don't know. I don't know. But it is exciting, though, to have the Xbox experience on the go. Because you'd yeah. be able to do, you know, utilize the play anywhere, you know, functionality, which would be awesome. And I feel like it, it does suck when you go from uh, platform to platform, because I think he did say in another interview that you get these sharded, sharded experiences when you go play in several different places. It's like, all right, I have these games and this experience on the PlayStation. I have yep. uh -huh. these games and this experience, you know, everywhere. So I think in his mind, it'll probably be a good idea for just central location for saves. You get, you know, you get the good experience wherever you want to get the good experience. That's my, that's my initial thoughts on this. One. Yeah. What about you, Scale? Initial thoughts. Uh, sounds like pretty much everything you've been saying for the most part over the past few weeks. Um, I like what he's saying for sure. I that is the experience I would personally would want from a handheld is to when I turn it on, it gives me that Xbox brown type thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I personally, that's what I would want. And I was also thinking that they could possibly have another version. I don't want to say pro version, but another side version that uh, runs windows in the background, maybe for mm -hmm. the supernovas out there. And so I think mm -hmm. that's interesting as well, but my concern is power. I think I just don't know what kind of ex experience they're trying to get us to have. And I'm scared of how the games are going to run with these you want, to, these games you want me to help you ease the ease that really quick yeah from what i've heard the series s was a trojan horse for a handheld at a later date mm -hmm. so using the imagine the power of a series s which is typically 1440p mm -hmm. um i don't know have you guys ever played on the series s before I've... no it's it's great on a big screen like it's it's good. It's 1440p. It's even better on the monitor. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but that was released four years ago, mm -hmm. right? But that was a Trojan horse to get devs used to powering their their um, their optimizing their games for that standard, mm -hmm. right? So that whenever they do release a handheld, it'll be much more easier for devs to. Um, Mm. To, opt to, to optimize for for that, but it's the power of the Series S. Mm. You know what I mean? Power. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I'm still a little concerned, even with the Series S power. It is good, but I was just seeing, let's just use Dragon's Dogma because they also played on the Series S. It still runs. It's still. I think it's still getting like 30. It's, it's getting lower than the X, obviously. Yeah. But it's still getting decent, you know, all right kind of frame rate. Yeah. For what it is. So but I mean, imagine I, toning that 1440p down to 1080p. It could you run. Know what I mean, yeah. yeah. And then having an AI chip and, and all this other stuff like with it in the future. Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be much more powerful than the Steam Deck. Right. Really? Like, yes. Like a Series S is much more powerful than Steam Deck. 
like Bart. It's going to have to be, to be honest. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it would have to be running Windows in the background. Right. Yep. I just, I'm just concerned because, bro, these games are getting more and more difficult to run, man. Like, <laughs> they're getting difficult to run. And if it's like, I just want, and this is coming, if this comes out, this will be, this wouldn't be considered like next gen, though, would it? Is this a next gen item, you think? So, so that's what we talked about last week. Like, like Rand thinks that they'll do them both at the same time. Oh, yeah, I, hope, I, I, I hope that's not the case. I hope that this is <laughs> like a, the handheld is its own thing, right? Yeah, and that comes out in like tw holiday 2025, right? Uh -huh. And then the next gen experience comes out in holiday 2026. Okay, right? so okay, if you're giving me 2025, 2026, and they're different. I'm okay yeah. with this. I'm okay then, with this because I'm concerned for GTA 6, and I don't think that's going to run well on this handheld. Not that it can and it will, but for, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be yeah. you'd, have to, you'd have to cloud game it, probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, is the Series S has to have, because of parity, it has to, the Series S will have GTA 6 on it, and it has to be optimized for that system. Like with the parity clause between the X and the uh, S, so it's automatically going to run good on whatever handheld they release at yeah. that time. Um, I can't even lie. I'm probably if personally, I'm not a hundred percent sold because I just need to see how it performs. And but knowing that, I'm probably going to lean more to the 2026. Uh, spend my money there. Personally, yeah. just because I want a handout and that's good, but I'm also, uh, I do like power. I'm not going to lie. That's why I have a PC. It's like, that's why I don't have an Xbox console now. And that's why I'm in the market. So this handheld yeah. is something that interests me. I am in the market for a new Xbox console or the like, the, what, something like that. So I just okay. think that the 20, the next gen would be, I just got to see how it runs because I want, I need something, I want something portable. <laughs> right i do want something so you'll fun. sacrifice pat like it, it's a trade-off right like you have a mobile device just like the switch which is dog yep. shit right like but it has good ips like it doesn't run triple a experience as well on yep. it at right. all right yeah. so it's a trade-off like do i want madden and Fortnite and call of duty and all this shit on the go mm -hmm. and possibly not be able to run gta 6 i mean that's your own decision right but like yeah. there's so many games that will run to, on it. that yeah. will run super well on it you know what i mean I agree. that's true um, and, and that's true and that's a good point because what's out will run great i think on that on yeah a, a, a handheld so i do understand that it's just i guess it's just forward thinking that i'm or future proofing i'm just big no, I I, get I'm you. upgrading my pc and i'm like y'all got me fucked up if i can't use this shit <laughs> in a couple years like wait a minute <laughs> so right that should that that would be my only concern i am a fan of what they're doing though really yeah. power or not or whatever happened i'm I, like i said i like peripherals and i like that stuff about video games like this reminds me of game gear it does remind me of switch it's just from uh, ps vita like i love all those things they also have their own operating systems right time you know the vita's operating system psp's operating system was pretty much unique to itself until like i think it was similar to ps3 but it had yeah, it its was. own like style kind of you know right. it had its own like functions but i just like its own I just I don't know why the Game Gear is the first thing that pops in my head. I don't know. Because they, right? they, was, yeah. they was big as shit. That's why. Big as shit. <laughs> All these handhelds today look like Game Gears. They do bro. look like All Game Gears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, nuts, right? It is crazy. But I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm a fan of what they're doing. I'm not against it whatsoever. I, I think it's forward thinking. Like we've talked about before, um, Xbox will uh, take the plunge into new things, i.e. Xbox One with the recording of TV and just all those things that are good now. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the fact that they, they will take the plunge, and it may, even if it doesn't work, they'll, what they'll comes take, later will have a, It'll be a lot of hate. As if it, just like the Xbox One with DRM and all this other shit, like they'll get a lot of hate, but look at us now. Like, yeah, all I know that's right. I know, and it's crazy <laughs> because I was a hater of the Xbox One's just <laughs> oh, era, you know. So, but but look where we're at now, all that shit works now. So, it's like 
if they're whatever they're going to do with this, I think their 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 second iteration is going to be Chef's Kiss. But yeah. you know, this is their first, so a grain of salt. But I'm proud of I'm proud of it. I like. But it. what's cool is I think he's talking about two different things here. Like we already know that that it's been all but confirmed that it's that an Xbox form factor handhelds coming by mm-hmm. Xbox, but what we're talking about here it seems like is an xbox os yeah that so democratizing the xbox storefront i guess for other people to use so that you can download and make your rog ally or your legion go into oh. like what i've been fucking wanting forever Oh, is just to make it a series i mean a, an xbox storefront i press a button in windows of course like on these systems and i just have my xbox experience it's pretty much launch xbox os and yes you're good i i see that and that'd yeah. be good if it's if you still had the windows option as well that's why i was saying because there are people going to want that option for sure and, and i'm one yeah. and i'm people <laughs> I don't think that the Xbox handheld will will have that. I think they'll try to limit as much of the Windows back shit as possible so that you can have the most optimal experience. Yeah, um, I see that. that. That's why I, I see that for sure. Yeah, also, yeah. that's what I was saying with like a pro. I don't want to say pro version, but you know, just like how you buy an iPad and they got the three G version or the not three G. Damn, right? The but wireless. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that that's what this is. Is that like, hey, if you don't want the 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 Xbox optimized version and you want to go third party with it, then go for it. I see. Mm. You know How I mean? far do you think that goes? Do you think that we'll ever find an Xbox app on, uh, say, for instance, a Nintendo Switch? Because it seems like this Epic Games Store is going everywhere these days. Epic. Uh, so if the, Microsoft said that they will put Game Pass wherever the fuck they can, right? Mm. So if Nintendo would allow it, which they won't, mm. then or if PlayStation allowed it, which they won't, mm. they would do it. Like that's been documented, like within the uh, FTC leaks, like documented that they wanted to do that. The motherfucker mm. said no. Like, I can't even imagine the green on any of those systems either. Yeah, <laughs> bro, it's it's going to happen though. Like I think what they're doing here is getting out in front. We already see this happening with cell phone companies, right? Like with the Apple stuff in, in the EU, right? They're like, mm-hmm. no, you need to allow you need to allow the Google store, you need to allow all these stores yeah. onto your platform, right? Like what's that. what's the difference between that walled garden of Apple in Europe and PlayStation or or uh Nintendo? If it's possible, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> or or Mike or, or or Xbox, right? Mm-hmm. Like, w- what's the difference between that? You know what I mean? And I think they're just trying. I think they're getting out in front of it so that they're ahead, they're established, um, and whenever the regulators regulate, they don't they don't have to do it. Yeah, you know what <clears> I mean. <throat> they don't have I to don't scramble know. to do it. Yeah, because like I don't know, man. You said it won't happen, but like reading what like Phil Spencer's talking about, like talking about the 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 current climate in gaming, how like there's like it's it's already this is the amount of people that's gonna be buying these games. It's all we're we're at the maximum, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's put that's buying these games. So that's why they're other companies are trying to get creative to find funds in different ways. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or um, either put your stuff somewhere. Or buy another company like for to the tune of like seventy two billy like, <laughs> ABK. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they they they're totally down to try to find some different ways to make some money by any means necessary, man. And uh, th- some of the games going elsewhere is is a little bit of proof of that happening, man. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree. Um, I think I got a Lotus. Lotus hit us with a 10. Yes, sir. Hey, Lotus, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. A hundred. And then we got Spartan 661. Hey. So I want the Xbox handheld to have replaceable, rechargeable batteries that I can ch- thank you. God damn. Please. Re- re- rechargeable battery I can cha- change out if, uh, 
if I can't charge at the moment, I want an SSD slot. Thank you for my memory card access. It would be great to have a slot for a mobile SIM card. Bro, I don't want replaceable batteries personally. I do, bro. Like, like I replaceable. I mean, like if it's an option, right? Like, what's? I just well, for me, I think it's just like the look and ergonomic and the way. If you drop that shit, you're gonna be having a pieces flying everywhere. And, and like that's kind of like I feel like when you don't have replaceable batteries, it, it makes the the whatever you're using a little more. uh Firm, like well, more if, well built. I, yeah, it feels like it has a solid build to it. It's just like and I know you probably got PTSD with the uh, with the batteries and the controller too. So batteries into this system probably don't sound good. So no, not to me. That controller has been pissing me off for years, <laughs> bro. I'm like, we really can't charge this shit. Still, still. <laughs> like, um, and that's a fine. It's cheap. It's a little cheap. It's like five bucks cheaper than a dual sense, and still they charge, even though their batteries don't last that long. I just don't. I like when it's built in one piece i think personally mm -hmm. i do like the ssd though for sure yeah I do okay. want that. expandable memory i'm always down for that mm -hmm. yeah um yeah that's the because it was a bitch to get my rog updated like because i had to do it like from the get-go yeah um yeah it was tough but i, I, I got her done issues I thought huh? they were having issues with uh with temperature problems with the ROG ally as far as like with the, the sim SSD. with the not with the SSD it was with the um what's the top slot called the little the same thing Nintendo Switch uses SD card SD with oh, the SD, the SD card, card. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah SSD works fine it was the SD card some people had issues with that shit burning up damn which is crazy yep. yeah it gets really hot yeah powerful machine it is mine but let me uh let me just read one more thing really quick. Uh yeah, I mean it's, it kind of continues because uh, I like the fact that the the Valve, the Lenovo, and Asus went out and innovated in a new form factor. And I would say that I'm playing on those devices. It almost feels like a cons more of a console than a PC nine mm -hmm. times out of ten. The thing that usually frustrates me more, Windows based than device based, which is an area I feel I feel some ownership of. Like I want to be able to log in with the controller. I've got my list of things we should go do. Uh, from a game creator standpoint, I can go. I can then go build a single version of my game that spans more hardware and reaches more customers. I would say for players, it reduces the friction. Like if I want to go play my console games on the go with the handheld, I don't only. I don't want to only be able to buy one brand of handheld, right? I want everything that we're doing in the hardware space to be great. But if somebody chooses to go play somewhere else, I don't want them to feel like a lesser Xbox player. Oh, yeah. That's what I think it's important. He said, I think it's important. You and I, we've been around for a couple of days. Look at the real inflection points in our industry. Um, like look at the Wii, it was hardware innovative that was linked with great software innovation. That's just Agreed. Nintendo, baby. That's why I like them innovators. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're gonna come with some cool new stuff. Always, yep. always. <laughs> so yeah, man. What are, what are your thoughts on what he said there? And then we can go ahead and wrap this thing on up. Hey, scroll down to what to what you just read a little bit, so I can I can read on that. Oh my fault. Mind grabbing that scale. Yeah. yeah. What I'm reading, I, I stepped away for a couple seconds, so I need to see what. Oh my bad. What you read? Oh, you're good. You're good. Are you yeah, what do you think about that scale? Uh, I like that he's pretty much saying he wants everything on the go, and he wants it to be equal playing field for the most part. Equal playing field, but you know, more players or more teams you can play on. I'm all for that. That's really uh, it sucks because this sounds evil because it's so good. <laughs> it's like where is the bad stuff <laughs> like you can't feel, like you can't be for the people like this right but he might be and i think i like what, he, what they're trying to do i'm 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 happy with it. knowing that just man, xbox as a whole is just killing it right now they're they're really ahead so i think they're they're making great decisions yeah yeah no i, I agree with you man like uh i did hear a little bit i overheard what you were saying that um he wanted to have it you to where you could just like 
press the controller and jump right into the experience or something like that. Mm-hmm. So that makes me feel like he doesn't want it to automatically boot. Cause I know Viking, you don't want it to boot into windows. You don't even want to deal with that. You want to grab your controller or whatever. And you just want to jump right. Into if it's a, game. if it's an Xbox device. Yes. Right. Right. He, yeah. And it sounds, sounds like he's uh he's alluding to that as well, but man, just reading this, just thinking about it, man, like Phil Spencer seems like he's a gamer for real, bro. Like he seems to be looking out for, People. That dude always gaming, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it seems like he's he's looking out for people like you and I. You know what I mean? And he uh-huh. he wants to give the gamer the best experience, not just specifically the Xbox gamer. It just seems like he wants to give the gamer the best experience, right. man. Yeah. And I I can really respect that. He's yeah. even like you know sending shout outs to 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 the Wii and and you know saying what Nintendo did uh, really well on one of their previous products. So yeah. shout out to Phil Spencer, man, for real. They are the handheld king. The most sold handhelds ever. Game Boy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is big facts, man. Um, yeah, bro. I I just just I need that official announcement this year, bro. Um yeah. I need to you think Sarah Bond's gonna say because we haven't she, have no, heard- she has to. Uh, that's what you know what we was in the group chat talking about this shit, bro. It's like, why is Phil talking, bro? Like like Sarah is the she's the hardware queen, bro. Like she's the mm-hmm. president of Xbox. Like, her, but I I think that the socials are too hot right now, right? Like she just came on. Let her do the official announcement. Yeah. Right. Let mm-hmm. let Phil do the alluding to. Mm-hmm. Let her right. let her come out. Let my sister come out and, and bring joy to everybody. You feel yeah, me? Like as her warming them up, pretty much. Right, just like with the podcast that they did. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I was like, I swear to God, if Sarah come out here, if they put her in front of this shit with the four games going over, Crazy. I was like, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't throw that sister under the bus. She just got here. Not she didn't just get here, but she just got she just got promoted, bro. Leave that sister alone. Yeah. Um, but I think like this summer showcase or during the Keeleys, we might find out. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. I'm excited, man. Yeah, switch your Xbox for real. It's looking good. mm Mm-hmm. I don't know about uh, my pockets, but it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I am. I'm double dipping. I'm ready. Like I, yeah, hopefully by the time you know, say like if chat helps us out, we blow up a little bit. You know, what I'm saying we might, we might get review copies. You feel hey, me? review? You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll 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 do them justice, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, That'd fuck out that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no issues. Taking it ever I'm using it. Uh-huh. I'm, I'll take the bus, even though I don't take the bus, just to know <laughs> if it works well. Facts. <laughs> all right, man. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing on up. First of all, chat, there's always like 90 people up in here to 100 and some number. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for kicking it with us. A hundred percent. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. It's always gang gang over here. We throw up the set each and every day for you guys. Um, y'all family. Look at all the green, bro, which is mm-hmm. nuts. It is green. It's <laughs> green in a motherfucking chat, bro. I love it. it is. I love it. And it's all for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. dope. So dope. Um Let's start with you, Scale. Start What's with up? me. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> now I go by Black Scale into with two Qs. You can catch me streaming uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at around 1 p.m. Central. Come hang out with your boys. It's a good time. We're chilling. I'll talk to you. We're chopping it up, playing games, doing good, getting smacked. It's fun. You might catch Nova on a stream or two popping off. So uh, come check me out. You can catch me on there. I uh, appreciate all the super chats and the gifts it all goes for the kids thank you it all goes to the kids thank you very much i appreciate y'all boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> can i can i bring up a question i forgot to look at this brett Br- uh bringham had a question he said phil also hinted that he would like to see epic store and steam on xbox yeah opening up the platform he said my question is when he says this 
why are you still afraid of Xbox going multi-platform? Uh, it's them exclusive some first parties that anybody's really scared of, I feel. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the big so we had a whole discussion about this in the group chat. This is my personal opinion. I think that if not your Halo Gears and Forza, like I think those are legacy, like <laughs> those are Xbox. Yes. Right. But your other first party titles, nobody <sighs> No, okay. Most people are not going to be like, all right, I'll wait two years for that to reach my platform. Platform if the game is it's hidden, right? right? Like I'm going where the games are, and if yeah. I know that every Microsoft game or Xbox game that comes out, and they have ten of them every year, and fifty percent of them are good and over, with three of them being bangers, I'm going to go get an Xbox. Yeah. Even if I even if I know it's coming to my platform in two years, I might not want to play that shit then. Mm -hmm. Like FOMO is real for gamers, bro. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. people are so, gonna be talking about it. Talking. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna either get a PC, which Xbox don't give a shit about, right? Like they don't care if you go get a PC, like as long as you play their games, or you're gonna get, get an, an Xbox. I wanted to play ghosts, so guess what I play? Guess what I bought? Right. Gotta work for me. <laughs> I said, I'm playing it. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I have to play. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like people go where the games are, bro. I wanted to have a unique high fidelity experience with PC uh with games. So I bought a PC. Yeah, and them Steam sales. And them Steam sales, bro. <laughs> it's just go hard, bro. Hey, clutch. Uh what what are y'all thoughts on his question? Um can you run it back by me again? I, I, I yeah. He said he's talking about the Epic Store and the Steam Store. He said his question is when he says this, why are you still afraid of Xbox going multi-platform? Oh, okay. mm, I, don't I don't think I don't think you guys were ever afraid. I think that was more of a now that was, that was more of a me being now, a bot thing, right? I mean, I guess, but I don't <laughs> now. I'm a fan of you know legacy, so the same way I wouldn't want God of War to really come to Xbox, I don't want Halo to go to PlayStation. Like I do like Blue versus Green, and we had the, those set titles. Now for those are legacy games, though. Now any of the other stuff, God, not really bothering me like that. But I, you know, those games are synonymous with their consoles for the most part, and they have been for generations. So it would sad. That's just legacy stuff. But yeah, you know, all that other stuff. No, nah, man, I, I personally don't give a shit. Make your money, <laughs> man. I, I just want to yeah. play the game. Yeah, and they, they, they going to do it whether you like it or not. I think that was part of the quote, too. Like, we going to do yeah. what we need to do, regardless right. of how y'all feel about it, low key. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you already answered Nova. Oh, I don't have I don't have a dog. You don't have me. anything. All right. One more thing, because Yobi said, said, who's the most important people in your life? Ooh. It's a big question. I can, I'll start with me while y'all think on it. Mine is Miss Viking, the Valkyrie. Y'all can call <laughs> her that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's the most important person to me. Like, we've been together since 2005 or six. I Shit. That, yeah. Forever, bro. Like, we've been together for a hot minute, bro. Thick and thin. Trials and tribulations, four kids. It's a beautiful thing. It's great, bro. Yeah, that's that to me. Uh, yeah, she keeps me on my P's and Q's, bro. Like a hundred percent. So that's that's mine. Yeah. For me, uh, you mind if I go scale? Yeah, go for it. it. All right. Yeah, for me, has to be my kids, man. Like I, it, it, they get me, get me up and going every single day, bro. It makes it easy to, to do all this grinding that I'm doing. I'm usually busy from 7 a.m. to 8:30 at night, probably like five to six days a week, man. So, uh, they definitely get, you know, put the battery in my back to go succeed, man. So, uh -huh. two dollars. Mm -hmm. That's dope, bro. Super dope. Mm -hmm. You scale me, um. Most important people, definitely my family and friends. I have a, I'm a close knit 
like circle of friends, a lot of acquaintances, but the people I actually call my friends are like family to me. They're pretty much brother and sister. So I, they're just family. Those are definitely the most important people in my life. My girlfriend is very important to me as well. For sure. For sure. I've been together for a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of, I know this is going to sound crazy. I'm doing a podcast. I'm not a fan of people like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just I, I get that from my mother. She's the same way. So like the people I do have, like that I care about, I truly, truly, truly care about because those are the I'm not going out to get more. You know what I mean? What I have is what I have. And if I have it, they have it. And hopefully we all we ride together, we die together type shit. Hopefully not die together, you know. So yeah, those are the most facts, important man. people to me for sure. Yeah. Preach, and on bro. top of that, man, outside outside of them, y'all, man, I've known y'all for so long, man. Much love, man. For sure. Definitely. 100%, yeah. bro. You mm -hmm. too, bro. Uh, just in case my son watched, and I want to say my kids too. <laughs> you got me. All right. <laughs> my kids too. All right. <laughs> just kidding. I love them little shits. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, Nova. Yes, sir. Carry carry us on out, man. All what right, man. But before I do, I got a girl too. Very important to me. We've been together for a while, so I don't want to leave her out. All my hey. niggas like, oh, she might be watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't want to leave her out. She's <laughs> definitely very important. <laughs> very. <Yeah>. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway man i go by supernova man y'all can find me over here on the long house podcast uh 8 p.m eastern time tuesdays and thursdays you can also find me on twitter at super underscore nova gamer um and i'll leave y'all off with some if you don't it, drink some water man don't be walking around here dehydrated get you some water in you get you some sunlight on your skin go out there and be great Hydrate or dihydrate is what my what they, <laughs> my, my oldest she says hydrate or dihydrate. Oh, so I live by this. that. Bro, my fault, Spartan. Spartan. We got one more thing. Go ahead, Vikings. I know what Spartan, you got to do. Spartan said, "Hey, did the price of that horn go up?" <laughs> <laughs> That's Call good. him out. Hey, spam. Call hey, spam out. that. Uh, yeah, spam that spam emote that in the chat. Horn, bro. Yes, my fault, bro. That horn emote. All right. Mm. Here we go, Spartan, for you, baby. No diddy. <laughs> You've been practicing, man. Sounds I've been good. on one today, right? It's like <laughs> five for you, five. Man. It's like five for five. You right? Yeah, you know we're all saying? good today. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. My fault about that, Spartan. A hundred percent. Um. Gang, gang, bro. Appreciate that 20. Um, kids gonna love it. It's gang, gang all day. All right, I go by the name of the Black Viking. Uh, just in case y'all don't know, please, before y'all leave, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you fucked with us throughout the whole thing. That's great. Um, 77 people still here at the end. Love y'all. 100%. Y'all part of the gang. Um, guess what, guys? Thursday. I should have plugged this in the middle of the show, but this Thursday, <laughs> my brother Celine, the CEO of Surgeon Studios, Tales of Kinzera, Zao creator, will be on the show. Two o'clock. It's a, it's a special, baby. Two o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. That's going to, that's a one hour show, one hour interview. It's going to be a banger. Mm -hmm. We got great questions lined up. Okay. The second thing we go on two for two that day. Mm -hmm. We going back to back. Okay. We are going to have another show, a regular show, but we have on a super Nova birthday bash <laughs> <laughs> it's all about nova that day baby hey. you know what i'm saying we doing nova topics we yeah. doing we doing nova questions and answers Ooh, you know what i'm saying we're gonna he's gonna he's gonna ask us questions like what's your favorite video game of all time like shit like that it's nova's day Fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's nova's day <laughs> okay 
He gonna take the reins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> <It's bugging. laughs> My nigga got his red, red dead redemption on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riss was whipping over there. <laughs> but it's gonna be special, y'all. Um, so tune in. Thursday is a big day. Yeah. Okay. I don't need y'all going over there to crossfire, watching any of these other shows. Y'all keep your asses sat down here all day. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be great. All right. We're gonna celebrate. It's gonna be a big, big, big day. Again, thank you guys. Love you. Y'all have any last words? Nah, man. Okay. Well, then, peace out, motherfuckers. And stay away from any ditty parties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, because I heard that sometimes when you go in the bathroom, there's used toys on the bathroom Allegedly. sink. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> um, so uh keep your no diddy strong you know what i'm saying and throw up the set one more time you feel me peace out jesus